might not be the one to die. We'll give to Cooper, who's got a big hole. And Kevin Cooper, the senior, is in for a touchdown. We've been putting in the mouth. We only taking what was ours. So you better not be the one to doubt us. Cause we gon' blow your mind. And welcome your nine-time defending state champion, Union Redskins! Can we handle the moment? And that moment will happen more than once. It'll happen the first time the Union has a big play. It'll happen the first time the crowd turns on them. It'll happen the first time they have a big penalty that reverses a big play. Do they handle that moment and go on from there? But as an athlete, when you haven't handled it before, how do you start? So that's, I've always said that that's so much to the game. And, and fortunately enough, I had, uh, and I'm, I'm not, not braggadocious, I was always on the victorious team. But we knew that if we were on a team and we were dealing with adversity to a team that wasn't used to it, if we could just get back in, the, in get the mow on our side, we would take the victory. And we also asked Kirk about the dynamic of coaching against Bill Blankenship. You know, Bill's at the far locker room this time. The two were together here. Then you know, Kirk was in Owasso. Bill was at Union. He thinks that too is pretty interesting. You know, we always had some great games with Owasso, but you know, the the big games that people point to outside of the the team are are Jinx and Broken Arrow, and then you insert you know Bill Blankenship into Owasso and. A couple of guys off our staff over there, and instantly the game has a lot more interest to it. So uh, I'm excited to see Coach B back in the, the yeah, Tulsa area coaching high school football. Yeah, I think everybody is. He had the one year in Fayetteville. He won a state championship there. You know, he had the great tradition. He had the great run at TU, and then things went south fairly quickly. But I asked him about coming back into this building tonight, and he said, "You know, I've been here because I've been here to look at games and that kind of thing." He said, "But he said it's not. You know, I, he left of his own accord. He left on his terms from here, and it in very good." standing here he said you know T.U. was a divorce he said so going back to that stadium with Memphis the next year that was different but he said coming here it won't be that different he also told me you know they spent more years in the old locker room than they did the new one that's what I was thinking actually I'm like well he's in a different locker room so that's interesting well, and he said he said he and Antonio Graham and I remember Antonio Graham and coach Morrissey who were on this staff last year at Union that's a big deal that they're in Owasso he said we're going to go back into the corners and move some stuff and see if there's stuff still written on the walls <laughs> back in there which might be interesting all right so here we go Owasso is going to come out and they're going to kick this football off we have a beautiful, and I mean a beautiful night for football. It could not be any nicer, even this morning, or even this afternoon, pardon me, when I got here just after 2.30 to set up for this game. The sun was out, but it was not too hot. It's been as nice as it can be for a game here in town. There's not going to be any chance of rain here tonight at all. And we're looking at 73 degrees to start. Owasso's dressed in their white uniforms, red stripes on the pants, and, of course, the red numbers. They have the red helmets with the Ram stripe that we're so used to from the, you know, the NFL or Colorado State or any of those teams. They'll be kicking from left to right. Union in their traditional gray pants with the white, black, and red stripes. They've got the red jerseys with white numbers and the traditional silver helmet with the split you. Darius Boone and Kevion Cooper are back deep. That tells you how serious they are about this one. Your two starting oh, yeah, running backs are, ready to roll, are back huh? to return the kick. So uh, you better strap it on right now, buddy, because you might need a chin strap up here. This is going to be a heck of a game. Yeah, if you haven't prepared yet, it's a little too late to get excited. So they're for they are approaching the football. It is uh, Alex Height that's going to be kicking off, and he does kick it off. It is taken by Darius at about the five. He's got some room at the 20, Boone at the 25. He'll be taken down around the 27 yard line. Nice tackle in at the 27 by Dylan Poole. And it'll set up Union right about there. They may put it around the 29 or the 30 yard line. And that's where we'll start first and 10. They'll be brought out by Peyton Thompson, 6'2", 190 pounder. And of course, we uh, you're gonna see a lot of different running backs in there. And I say a lot, Darius Boone and Kevion Cooper will spend a lot of time going back and forth on that offensive unit. Yeah, of course, your wideouts are the thing. You're going to look at Avery Alverson, C.J. Moore, and A.K. Wilson. Union will come out with two tight ends to start. 
So you're going to see both guys in there. You're going to see uh, Brock Henry and Lawrence Harris, and it will be Darius Boone to start. At their own 29-yard line, first and 10 for the Redskins, moving from right to left. Peyton Thompson back quickly to throw. He's going to go deep right away down the right sideline for Alverson, and he makes a miracle catch at the 36-yard line. Now, Wasso says they have it. They've jumped up. It is Hayden Spriggs running back what looks like an interception. He's at the 30. Now he's down inside that to the 25. I would swear that Alverson came down with that ball, but the officials did not call it dead. Then it was Spriggs jumping up and running out of there with it. There's a flag on the field as well, and the officials have marked it at the 25-yard line. Rick, this is one of those times where you need replay because the, the catch was clearly made by Alverson on the other side, and it was a double catch. So the, the two, the, two uh, the guys went up to make the catch together, came to the ground, and clearly looked like the ball was on the ground. Well, one of the officials is, the officials are having a conversation. One of the officials is making the bobble signal to the referee, which is Scott Reed and Metter. Let's give you these guys right now. The referee is Scott Metter. There's Greg Brown, the umpire. Michael Griffin, the head linesman. Jonathan Webster, the line judge. And Rick Smith, the back judge. Now, Kirk Frederick is all the way out at midfield discussing this. Now, if the guy saying the ball was being bobbled, then it could be an interception. Let's hear what the referee has to say. Well, we cannot hear him. He is saying that there's pass interference against Owasso. So none of that, will, no, but they gave the football to Owasso. He called pass interference or holding against Owasso. Well, I guess that's on the return. Hold was on the return. Uh, and they will give that to Owasso. This will be Owasso's football at the 35-yard line. I would swear to you that Alverson came down with that football. But then somehow, Hayden Spriggs came out of there with it, ran it back to the 20. They'll mark off the penalty and put it back at the 35. And it's going to be first and 10 right there for Owasso. So a quick change. Now can Union handle the moment? Quick change, interesting enough. And the defense has been really strong. And like you said, we're going to see these big guys at Owasso. They, they are big up front. And they're going to try to establish the run. But they've got some power outside with, with the Proctor on the, on the edge. Will Keeney is the man that will bring him up. Bryce Cabrera is his running back. Three receivers. One of those guys is Proctor. They're going to hand off to Proctor on the inside. And he's smoked for a loss. Oh, boy, the first guy there. Darius Murdoch brought him down. But the first guy there was Brayden Spicer. Spicer popped him two yards deep, and it'll be second and 12. And if you got Josh Proctor, you're certainly going to use him. But that time it didn't work. They'll mark the ball back at the Union 37-yard line. Interesting there. They run a jet sweep into the boundary, so not a lot of yards uh, to run, not a lot of room. And Spicer does a great job of just crashing that to the line. Will Keeney, who has thrown for 14 touchdowns and one pick, brings him back up. He's in the shotgun. Cabrera to his right. He's going to hand it to Cabrera inside, and he got about two yards back to the line of scrimmage. He might get one more. Kenya Walker was on top of him there, but a big third down and nine already coming up for Owasso, and right away that Union front playing well. Yeah, and you're going to want to keep your eyes on the little running back tonight because when Cabrera gets loose, he, he doesn't like to go down. So he looks like a Barry Sanders or something, got a great sense of balance and really just keeps fighting. Third down and nine for Owasso at the Union 34-yard line. Early turnover by Union gives the Rams the first shot. In the shotgun is Keeney. So just running back Cabrera to the right. Cabini, he's back. Keeney throws left side. Ball caught by Sisson at the 23-yard line. And that guy right there now, Sisson is a player. Tyree Sisson comes in with 318 yards and five touchdowns. He got that just in front of JT McLeod. They'll move it to the 24-yard line of Union first and 10. Interesting enough, the three plays, the three players that you got to keep an eye on touch the ball the first three series, three plays of this series. Well, they, if you've you got great players, give them great players, right? Proctor's back into the game. First and 10, Owasso now at the 24-yard line of Union. They're going to have to hurry a bit to get the playoff. No score just underway. 10-15 to go first period. Union turned it over on their first play. And now Owasso was a little confused, and they're going to call a timeout. We'll take one, two. It's nothing, nothing, but the Rams are threatening. This is Union football on KRMG. Worried you're one of the millions whose identity may have been compromised? I swear in I thought breach? Albertson had that ball. Be one of the millions I don't know who how trust their identity protection to LifeLock. We use proprietary technology to detect they a range both of caught it together. To from and then rolled over and it's appearing on the bobble. dark web to payday hey, loans in your name it's an in a wide range right of other closer than we are, but if there's a problem, boy, I would our identity I restoration specialists will work to fix it. They know the steps to take Doc, and calls you have to a better make to resolve view of it? problems. No, I'm, course, I was across no the field from it, and I don't see that well, but I know Coach Frederick was absolutely adamant about it, and I would not have wanted to hear what he had to say. Over a decade. Join starting at $9.99 plus applicable taxes. Signing up online takes... Pretty good so far. I can hear you and, and the other commentators clearly. 10% off when you enter By the way, our stands news. are completely full. That's promo code we go. news. Rejoin in five. More protection. Okay. 
Catch every moment of Union football on KRMG.com, the KRMG app, and News 1023 KRMG. On first down, a washout goes deep into the Union end zone. It's caught by Sam Thompson for a touchdown, and the Rams lead 6-0. They faked the jet sweep to Proctor. Keeney hit the football and threw deep, and initially Thompson was wide open. Union closed on him a little bit, but it did not help. And with 10 minutes to go in this first period, the Rams are up by a score of 6-0. Alex Haight is on the left footer to add the extra point. There's the snap in the hole. The kick is up. And it is high, and it is good. So the turnover pays dividends for Owasso. It is 7-0, Owasso over Union. The Redskins have it next on KRMG. Hi, $100 bonus. Right now, when you open you know, a new checking account with TTCU Redskins. Federal Credit Union, you get a $100 bonus. You can open your account you online. Though, fast one thing and I've easy. always worried about and when is you use our your school pride debit they're, card, they're, they're you really talented and they TTCU. never play the ball well. Life is better and in that case, they just With approved got credit, the annual percentage place. yield for dividend bearing accounts is 0.20. Hey, you want the rejoinder this time or straight to music? Uh, uh, bonus requirements must be met within 60 business days of account opening. Some restrictions apply. Federally insured by NCUA. Hi, this is... You got it. You'll come back hey, to music. I have played on winning teams my entire Let's career, and now I'm on a winning team at State Farm Insurance. For the first 50 listeners who stop by my office Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5.30 and let us give you a free quote, we will give you a free $10 gift card to Texas Roadhouse. It's literally that easy. Call today literally. and ask me about getting your free Let's Texas Roadhouse gift card at 918-615-6634. Stop by our office at 81st and 129th. We look forward to meeting you. Owasso's drive four plays, 35 yards. It took him a minute and 31 seconds. The catch from Posey of 24 yards and the extra point makes it 7 0 with 10 04 to play here in this first period. Owasso leading the Union Redskins. So, again, Zach, what we talked about is could Owasso handle the moment? Now, can Union? They've done it before, but now you have to. You've got to be able to handle that moment, and the Redskins have a big one here. Yeah, and what you'll see, though, is the Redskins have been in the position before, so they're going to be a lot more versed to battle with adversity. Christian Johnson approaches to kick this ball off. The right footer swings the foot. It'll be short, and it'll be taken by Boone around the three-yard line. Darius around the 10. He's got a bit of a hole at the 20. Darius the 25, burst forward across the 30. Darius Boone across the 35-yard line. They should mark him. Well, they're going to him right at the 35, and that's where the Redskins will take over. And that's twice now that he's had Two good great openings. Yeah. Yeah, if, he, if he hits that crease a little earlier, that might be six. Yeah, they've got some really big openings there. And, and the first kickoff, I mean, there was... 15 yards to run through, and that one was a little bit tighter, but plenty of room, and one guy makes the tackle, and he only has to beat the kicker after that. So Union turned it over on its very first offensive play, trying to go deep to Avery Alvarez, and the Redskins now on their second offensive play. First and 10 at their own 35-yard line, going right to left. Three receivers in this set. The guy is Darius Boone, the setback, and Kevion Cooper is also, well, no, Kevion's off the field. It'll be A.K. Wilson also back there. Peyton hands off the ball to A.K. Wilson, and he's taken down in the backfield. He lost about three yards. That was Tyler Moody. They tried to run a little inside play and give that ball to A.K., and they dropped it. A.K. picked it up and lost six yards. So back at the 29-yard line, the Redskins have had two offensive plays, an interception, and a six-yard loss. Yeah, we've never seen A.K. line up like that except for in the uh, the, the uh, Wildcats. So that's an interesting formation. Second and 16 for the Redskins at their own 29-yard line. Peyton Thompson in the shotgun. He looks he's going to throw to left side. He does to C.J. Moore, but C.J. was down, and the ball bounced anyway, so that's incomplete, and the Redskins look really inept on offense, but it's only been three plays. But that'll concern you. It's third and 16 well, at their own 29. They need the 45 for the first down. Yeah, not, nothing going yet, and that was one where you typically see C.J. pick that thing up, and here he is trying to get the crowd involved. They're, it's third and 15, and he wants the crowd to jump after him. It is third, and yeah, it's actually third and 16. Ball back at the 29-yard line. They'll go four wide receivers at this point. Peyton Thompson will be in the shotgun, and he'll stand around uh, Union's 25-yard line. Darius Boone, the back, shifted to his left. Four wide in Boone, who will shift to the right now. Who also has three defensive linemen all standing. There's the snap to Thompson. Here comes the pressure. Thompson tries to throw, and that ball is hit as it's taken out of there. And a, a flag will come in. Proctor hits C.J. Moore before the ball got there. The ball, I think, was tipped when Peyton threw it. If it was not, then it was because he got hit. If it was tipped when he threw it, then that would call off that interference. Yeah, the head ref is calling for fourth down, so if that's must be what they're going to call. But that was clearly early by Proctor, and if he, if he saw the tip, that's a great play. If not, he was a lot early. 
So they are actually going to go ahead and call the interference. So they will call it. So it must have been that he was hit, and that's why the ball came out funny. And that's a real break for Union. That will give them like a first it was down. Not hit. So it will be first and 10, now Union at their own 44-yard line, trailing Owasso 7-0 with 9.20 to play here in this first period. The Redskins still have yet to complete a pass. No, it's still fourth down. That's right, it is fourth down. They gave them the yardage, but not the first down. So they'll move it to the 44-yard line, and the Union will have a, a third down and two. Third two, that's making it a lot easier than a, a fourth Pardon and me, two. Fourth and two, right. It's going to make it a lot easier than a fourth and 16. So I think they feel a lot more comfortable here. It's interesting. No, they actually they gave them the down back, so they took, did take it back to third and two. So the Redskins will approach with two wide receivers and two tight ends. Boone set to the right of Peyton Thompson. They're going to hand to Darius off the right side. He's going to burst forward, and he has the first down. He gets across the 46. They'll mark him all the way up at the 48-yard line. Crop was the guy on the tackle along with Darius Palmer, and that's a good sign for the Redskins. They at least move the change, but offensively right now, Zach, it's not really very smooth. Yeah, and that was a good tackle there by Crop, just enough to pick up the first down and a big hit there coming across the middle, a big linebacker. 9-10 to play, first period, 7-0 Owasso, first and 10 Union, now at their own 48-yard line. Thompson will set Boone to his left. Two receivers out to his left, one to his right. There's the snap. They're going to hand to Boone on the right side. Darius gets across the 50 and powers forward down all the way to the Owasso 46-yard line. He was hit back around the 50, but he dragged two or three players before Kellen Jones got him down. That's a good gain of six. It'll be second and four. Great blitz pickup there. They blitz to the running side, and they picked that up, and there was no one out there but the, besides the corner. Union's going to hurry now. Back quickly is Thompson. He's going to hand off once again to Boone around the right side. Darius has got room. Has the first down across the 40. Darius to the 35-yard line. Nice block walking out front of that by that Union offensive line and those receivers. Crop made the tackle, but not before an 11-yard run, and the Redskins set up now, first and 10 at the Alasso 35. There's that power run by Boone, and he's just been getting stronger each week. He's starting to look really strong. Eight and a half to go, first period, 7-0 Owasso, but Union now charging. Thompson with the snap, hands again to Darius Boone. He goes off the right side again, not as much there, around two yards before they close on him in the middle. Alan O'Dell was the guy who got there. We'll call it second down and eight, but, you know, if the well is not dry yet, you keep going. Yeah, and they're definitely picking on that right side. They've seen something on the film that they're going to go at and keep taking advantage of it. Two receivers left side. That is A.K. Wilson and C.J. Moore. To the right, Avery Alverson, second and eight for the Redskins at the 32 of Owasso. Thompson in the shotgun, back to throw. Goes middle of the field, and that ball is incomplete. He threw it behind CJ, pardon me, he threw it behind AK. He, was, he dropped it around the 30 yard line, so it'll be third down and eight now for the Redskins, and around the 33 yard line, we'll call it. They need the 25 for the first. He stepped up to throw that, and Darius Palmer, the defensive end on the left side, uh, came and put a little pressure on Peyton that time and knocked him down. So once again, it looks like they're going to line AK Wilson up in the backfield. Here we go with third down and around eight. The ball at the 33 yard line of Owasso. 7.50 to play, first period, 7-0 Rams. Peyton Thompson brings him up. He has Alberson wide to the right side. That's the far side. To the near side, Harris and C.J. Moore. A.K. is in the backfield along with Darius Boone. Thompson in the shotgun. Has the snap. Drops the snap, and he's going to be swallowed up. Oh, that's just not good football right there. Kellen Jones and Darius Palmer jumped on him. That goes all the way back to the Union 45-yard line, and the Redskins will have to kick it away. And that's a couple of times he's been unsure with the snap, and it was a good snap. Yeah, it was right at his hands. I'd, uh, maybe it was a little fiery, but that's one you got to come up with. And, and uh, one of those deals we saw last week, after he took one shot, uh, started to maybe get a little jittery, and he just needs to settle back in there and take the ball. Farquhar is on to kick this thing away. The guy who is back deep is the same guy who intercepted that pass earlier. No, the guy that caught the touchdown, I think it's Sam Thompson. Thompson standing back around this, the 10-yard uh, line. Farquhar needs a good kick here, good hang time. There's the snap, not much of a rush. Gets it away, very nice high kick, but it's going to be short. The ball is caught at the 22-yard line. Boy, Thompson made a really impressive and dangerous catch running up on that ball, and he took it around the 22-yard line, saved Owasso some room, though, and it'll be first and 10 for the Rams right there. Yeah, that's one of those ones we talk about saving extra yards, and I don't know if that's a, the, worth the challenge on that. He, he dove up there on one knee to get that uh, punt, and uh, quite dangerous with three Redskins right around him. Seven minutes to play, first period, 7-0 Owasso, and you have to think they're supremely confident after that last drive. Yeah, and I think, you know, we, we watch this thing, and the emotional high of this game is pretty awesome. So it's fun to watch as it ebb and, ebb and flow and how the emotion rides, and, and, and you lose momentum and take it. But uh, right now, they are definitely on the high. First and 10 for the Rams. Once again, at the 22-yard line, their own 22. Bryce Cabrera will be the running back. He'll be just offset to the right of Will Keeney. Four wide receivers for the Rams. Now motion to the right side. Keeney looks, pump fakes, rolls to his right, has all kinds of time. Keeney's just going to throw it away now around the 30-yard line. 
Cabrera was out in that area. Braden Spicer was the guy that was pressuring him. It'll be second and 10. It's a lot of time for a guy to have to throw. Yeah, especially a guy that can create a little bit extra on his feet. So good job by Union defense of making sure they had a linebacker to spy him and then everybody else was covered up. So had nowhere to go and did a smart move there throwing in the dirt. Second and 10, the Rams at their own 22 yard line. They'll stack two receivers on the right side, the far side, one receiver. Keeney in the shotgun is gonna turn and hand to Cabrera and Cabrera along the right side. Didn't get a lot, he's around the 25 yard line. Guys jumping in there were Spicer and Nate Raper, both the linebackers. We'll call it a gain of three and a big third down and seven. Now this is where Owasso last time just threw the little out to Tyrese Sisson. And you got to watch where Sisson is lined up. And he is far to the right. It's he and JT McLeod. That's a matchup press man-to-man. -man. That's a big matchup out there. Well, if they go man-to-man, -man, McLeod will beat him up on the line and not let him off the line of scrimmage. Third and seven for the Rams at their own 25-yard line, leading this game 7-0 already. Keeney calls signals, now looks to the sideline. Cabrera, the running back, set to his left. Now McLeod jumps back into his zone. Union now changing up. Sisson jumps inside a little bit as well. Keeney is set, there's the snap. Looks to his left, he's gonna throw it out to Cabrera and he's gonna be taken down before he gets far. He got around the 27 yard line. Hey, Brown was one of the guys there. Look at that big Jordan Kelly got out there as well. So a good series for the Union defense and that'll make it fourth and five for the Rams at their own 27 and they'll kick it away. Interesting little cat and mouse there. The, the Redskins shuffle into a call. They call out of an audible, then the, the Redskins shuffle back in and make a great adjustment as they try to hit the spot pass into the flats. Wonderful job of the defense. Alex Tate will be on to punt this thing. He's standing around his own 13 yard line. And of course, who's back? Nobody else, Landon Wood. He's standing around Union's 45. Seven nothing Rams, five and a half to go first period. But Owasa will be punting here. Teams are ready. That's a short bounce. That kick is almost, it is blocked. The kick is partially blocked. It hits around the 40 and it's gonna take a bounce for Owasso near midfield. But a nice job right in there by Union. That was Trey Thompson that got hands on it. The ball was, the snap was really short. You gotta give him credit just for trying to get that thing off at all, but it'll actually go to the 48 yard line of Owasso and Union will be set up first and 10 right there. Yeah, I tell you what, if if uh, I'm if I'm the linebacker there and I go in to block that thing, I don't even go for the ball, I just hit the punter, but that was a great job of getting a piece of the ball and deflecting that thing and, and really turning around the field position here. And that can really do something. Your offense kind of sputtered in that, and you threw the interception on the very first play. Owasso scored on that, sputtered a little bit the last possession. Now you want to come out and go. It'll be Kevion Cooper at the running back spot, Peyton Thompson at quarterback. Avery Alverson wide to the right. The other guy that's going to be, uh, A.K. Wilson is going to be in the backfield. Lawrence Harris and C.J. Moore to the left side. That's our near side. 10 yards. 48-yard line, first and 10 of Owasso for Union. Thompson. Straight back, he's looking. Now he's gonna fire that ball to the right side and it is dropped. Around the 24 yard line, they were trying to get that ball to AK. Pretty good coverage in there by Dawson Adams. He had a chance at it, but he dropped it and it'll be second and 10. And what I'm not liking right now about Peyton Thompson is he just seems a little more unsure of himself than he did early in the year. Yeah, and I kept seeing, I talked to, talked to Coach Witch tonight, I said it seems like he's getting more confidence each game. And then the last game we say maybe he can't take a step backwards. He really needs to take control of the game. Second and 10 for the Redskins at the 48 yard line of Owasso. Seven nothing Rams with five minutes to play first period. Two stack receivers near side in the shotgun. He'll hand off to Kevion Cooper and he's tripped up at midfield, but he jumped forward to around the 44 yard line of Owasso. That first guy there, I think, was Kellen Jones, but the guy who jumped on top of him at the end was Tyler Moody. We're going to call it third down and six. They'll mark it at the 44 of Owasso. They need the 38 for the first down. Big down for Union. Four wide receivers, two to either side. It is Moore and Wilson to the near side. Thompson in the shotgun. Cooper to his left. Owasso shows some blitz at the line of scrimmage. Now they stand to look to the side. Nine on the play clock. Thompson's still looking. They're going to have to hurry. Six on the play clock. Now four. They're not gonna have time to get this off. They're gonna have to call a timeout. They will call a timeout. So with four minutes and 36 seconds to play in this first period, trailing seven nothing, the Redskins call a timeout. We're gonna keep it here though, and I wanna go down to Doc Blevins. And Doc, I wanna find out first of all, I think there was probably a little bit of shock on the sidelines after that initial series, the initial interception and the initial touchdown. What are you feeling down there? Frustration right now. I think that everybody thought that it was, uh, was uh, a, draw, I mean, a, a caught pass a while ago, and uh, so that was a bad call, and they're frustrated, and they got to kind of get over that and get back in it, and, uh, you know, that they're, they're very resilient. They'll make it. What are you hearing the coaches coach them on right now, especially offensively when they're on the sidelines? You know, I haven't gotten a chance to uh, eavesdrop too much, but 
what I do notice is they get them down there, they're watching the video and they're analyzing things and they're continuing to coach and teach and try to make adjustments and that's what you want to see. Absolutely, so it's gonna be, let's set this up now. Owasso scores on their first drive after Union threw an interception on the first play getting the football. So it is now seven nothing with four and a half minutes to go in this first period. The Redskin offense, which has been very sporadic in a series and a half, now has a giant third down and six. The ball's at the 44 yard line of Owasso. They need the 38 for the first down. So the Redskins bring them up. They'll send Anthony Davis to the far side. They, they, now, now Anthony will come back to the near side. No running back. Yep, no running back. Five wide. Peyton Thompson in the shotgun by himself. Owasso shows six guys in the box. This will be interesting. Thompson with the snap. Here comes the rush. He's going to have to hurry. Fires left side. Caught by C.J. Moore, but he does not have the first down. Really nice tackle by Hayden Spriggs. He jumped on C.J. initially. That ball didn't come out of there very fast. That floated way more than it normally would. And it's going to be fourth down and about two. Well, that's a long throw from the opposite hash to the sideline. That's about a 30 to 45-yard throw when I get, you know, 50 yards side to side. So uh, put it on a rope and got it out there, but that's a, a short pass, and they made a great tackle there to stop a, stop them with about two left. Union will bring out Farquhar to punt, and Owasso's not going to send anybody back deep right now. The ball's at the 41 of Owasso, so it's fourth down and three, and I'm sure the Redskins will try to draw them off sides, but Owasso doesn't care much about it. They're going to hand the ball off. It's a fake punt. They're going to hand it off to Kevion Cooper. has got the corner, 40, 35. Kevion out of bounds at the 28-yard line. First down for the Union Redskins. Hayden Spriggs, the guy who made the play, but they brought Kevion Cooper from the outside on a little jet sweep, handing the ball, and Owasso just was not ready. I tell you what, I saw Proctor coming up on the opposite side. I'm like, oh, they're going to blitz right into it. And Kevion beat Proctor to the corner and picked up more than enough to pick up the first down. So that's going to be good for a 12 and a first down for the Redskins. A big fourth down gamble. First and 10 Union trailing 7-0 with 347 to play in this first period. They're now at the Owasso 29-yard line. Three receivers, two of those set to the near side. That is Wilson and Moore. To the far side is Alverson. Again, it's Kevion Cooper as the running back. Peyton Thompson hands off to Kevion on the right side, and he pounds out that way. Didn't get a lot. He's out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Deuce Mayberry, maybe the best name we've had so far, Deuce Mayberry on the tackle. We'll call it a gain of one and maybe second and nine. Yeah, Kevion comes into the game tonight, averaging about 5.2 yards a carry and uh, just one touchdown on the game, but he's been the guy that's been carrying the most yardage. They're actually going to put it back and say it's second down and 10. They'll mark it again at the 29-yard line. Thompson in the shotgun. This time the two receivers are at the far side. That's Alverson and Wilson. On the near side is C.J. Moore, and you could say he has single coverage, but Josh Proctor, that big safety, is going to play his college football at Ohio State's back there too. Now he cheats towards C.J., and now another timeout by Union. I'm telling you, that's not a good sign. That is two early timeouts by the Redskins offensively looking a little bit confused. 3.41 to play in this first period. Union trailing 7-0. They'll snap it again on second and 10 when we return on KRMG. Right now, the Ford cat mouse Power goes to Owasso, Dodge right? Cummins, yep. GM Duramax, and international truck owners. Diesel Power Plus gets you back on the road fast when your truck If I say something to you all, we are off the air, right? right? Diagnostic tools and equipment. Yeah, we're still streaming live, Doc. Huh? We're Diesel streaming Power live. Plus okay. The standard. They set the standard. Us. On 56, just west of Garnett. Call 625 8191. Depend on us, Diesel Power Plus. At Classic Chevrolet, we are 30 uh, years just strong, music, Mike. and we proudly support all union athletes and yes, sir. years of treating you right the first time with excellent customer service, affordable financing, and an award-winning service department. Show us your school spirit. Tag us at Classic Chevy Owasso on Facebook showing off your union pride. We don't want to just sell you a car. We want to help you buy a car. Classic Chevrolet in Owasso. Visit us online at ClassicChevrolet.net. Second and 10 Redskins at the 29 of the Owasso Rams. Ball thrown to the right side, tipped in the air and intercepted. Now it hit the ground. Oh, it looked like it was picked off. Whew. Owasso jumped up there. Hilton Mosby is the guy that hit it initially. Two Rams looked like they had it in their hands, and maybe, Zach, they fought for it, and that's why they dropped it. Yeah, that or the, you know, they, sometimes they say the best receiver is the best defender. The best defender is the, best, the receiver. And uh, they, they both went after it, so Alverson did a great job there. At least going after it. So with 3.33 to play in this first period, trailing 7 nothing. Union has third and 10 from the Owasso 29-yard line. Two receivers far, one receiver near. The guy in the shotgun is Peyton Thompson. To his right, Kevion Cooper. Owasso showing four in the box. Quick snap on what looks like a penalty. They're going to go deep to C.J. Moore. He caught the ball at the one. C.J. Moore caught the ball at the one-yard line with triple coverage. 
Proctor was there. Two other Rams were there. And the came down with it. What a brilliant catch and a terrific throw. It's first and goal. Yeah, that was just on the outside shoulder where it had to be. And I thought Proctor probably baited him into that. I, I saw him kind of cheating to that side and letting C.J. Moore stay out there deep. But he couldn't get to that outside shoulder. Well, Peyton Thompson has had a couple that didn't go his way tonight. That one certainly went Beautiful. his way. Beautiful throw. And a nice job by C.J. of using that big body to secure that catch. The ball's inside the one. It's at the less than one yard line. As a matter of fact, it's not more than a few inches outside. Redskins hurry to the line of scrimmage. Thompson in the shotgun. He's going to hand it off to Kevion Cooper. He's into the end zone for the touchdown. Redskins score, and it's 7-6. to six. And, boy, it only takes one big play to turn your fortune. Yeah, it sure does. And, you know, it's super excited to see a fake punt come in there and, and really spark the emotion of the offense and get down the field and put some points on the board. First guy to celebrate with C.J. Moore when he comes off was A.K. Wilson. Now the officials are calling a timeout here. There's a union player hurt. That is uh, that is uh, Zoan Shannon, the center. That is not a good sign for union. Big Zoan Shannon, the center, 6'1", 320 pounds of him, is laying flat on his back at the one-yard line. Dan Newman, one of the best athletic trainers in high school in the country, is coming out along with Zach Newby. Let's see what they start looking Shannon at. Shannon pointed to his ankle and they're looking at that Looks right like now. Looks like maybe a left ankle. Now there's yeah. a lot of bodies That's down in there, say. right? There's yeah. a lot of weight down in there. Yeah, you, they went in for the basically a sneak, but they had a lot of people that's huddled up on, on the line of scrimmage. All the D line and O line were really just making a big pile. And I didn't see that he got up from that, and I don't think that he did. No, I think he was just kind of rolling around right there. So, you know, and you know what it's like when you lose your center. That's a big deal. Yeah, especially if you've got a quarterback that's trying to build some confidence and get, you know, take take control of that football game. Now he's got to worry about the snap, and, you know, even that more than that's the, the long snap. So a couple extra factors. Come to me. Let's go down to Doc Blevins, who's got a better look of everything. Well, Doc. one of the things they were doing were the kind of things you look for where cramps are uh, indicated. So, uh, you know, holding the foot and pushing it back and everything. And I, I'm not sure they'd be doing that if it was an ankle, so we'll just have to see. Yeah, well, let's take a look here. Now, if you're wondering, the backup center is Tanner Fort. He is six foot, 255 pounds. That's different than 6'1", 320. So that's a, that's a different guy, but we'll see. Now, as he walks off, now he's not putting much pressure on that, so I don't think that's a cramp as he comes off the field. Now, he is walking and he is putting some pressure on it. That's at least a good sign as he comes off. Of course, the score is 7-6 to six now after the Union touchdown, 3.21 to go here in this first period. And really, as he walks off, Zoe and Shannon's putting a little bit more and more weight on there. Bit, yeah. yep. and, some, and you know what that's like, too. You, you start to get the blood flow back in there. You feel you feel fine. Now, tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> you won't feel you good You get a little of that adrenaline. And really, you know, one of those two th the things you forget is he, this kid wants to play in this game, and he's going to try to get over here to the sideline, get taped, and what, try to find a way back in. But now the big extra point, Noah Rauschenberg on to kick this thing. And Davis will hold, and Davis has done a spectacular job because the snaps have been a little inconsistent. That one was high. Davis drops it. The ball's on the ground, and Owasso has a chance to return it for two, and they will. But they're going to call it off. They're going to call it off in high school. You cannot do that. I sometimes get confused between which game I'm broadcasting. <laughs> right, right. Tomorrow's college game or today's You're high school. You're on it for tomorrow, early, a little early for today. So we will leave it right where it sits. 321 to play, and that's a big, big extra point that's missed. I want Union trails Owasso 7-6 here in this first period. This is Redskins football on KRMG. The 2018 Subarus are in at the Ferguson. Radio Shakers Subaru back. is named Kelly Blue Book's 2017 most trusted brand and best. This just feels odd already. Just tried the new technology of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in the completely redesigned all new 2018 Crosstrack. The stylish new look of the yes, Lexus Ford refreshed output named the yes. best family car of 2017 from Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com. Get as low as zero yes, percent no on never. the new 2018 yeah. Forester Outback or Legacy. Each standard equipped with the legendary road gripping symmetrical all wheel drive. Subaru, the best all-wheel drive leader for Oklahoma's wet, dry, snow, or ice at Ferguson Subaru. Just off the VA at the Elm Place exit across from Bass Pro. Or find them at FergusonSubaru.com. 2017 Kelly Blue Book brand image awards are based on the brand watch study from Kelly Blue Book Strategic Insights. More calculated among non-luxury shoppers. For more information, visit KBB.com. Kelly Blue Book is a registered trademark of Kelly Blue Book Company. E. Miss a moment of Union High School football. Download the KRMG app now. Available for Apple and Android. 
Back at Union Tunnel Stadium, the Redskins score to make it 7-6, and now Noah Rauschenberg will kick off, and this one's going to go just short of the end zone. Owasso will be returning it, and it's that Devin Tyler, and he's going to be taken down just outside the 10-yard line. Great coverage by the Redskins. What a play. They'll mark him at the 12-yard line, but that's a terrific job by that Union special teams. The Union drive was eight plays, 48 yards, a minute 59. The Kevion Cooper one-yard run follows the big 34-yard pass to C.J. Moore, and it is now 7-6. to six. Now, it is too, crowd, too early, of course, Zach, for us to say that that one point's the biggest point in the game, but it certainly could be in one like this. Yeah, and in a big game, you either have really, really big plays or you have a close game where big, big mistakes uh, match up to one, one or two points and make the difference. Bryce Cabrera, once again, will be the running back for Will Keeney. If you've heard that name before, you're, you're right. He is Trip Keeney's son, the former All-American golfer at Oklahoma State. First and 10 Owasso at their 12. They'll hand to Cabrera right side. Not a lot of room there. He did push forward to around the 15. So not much on the running game there. About three yards. We'll say the middle of that group, including Darius, Mur Darius Murdoch on the tackle. It'll be second down and seven. Now you're, as you mentioned, though, Cabrera has 184 yards. He's averaging, he's got three touchdowns. He's averaging almost 18 yards a carry. He only came in with 10 carries for 184. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. And the kid just continues to fight. So it's interesting when, when the run game's not working, they just continue to stay after it, and they really will you know, try to stay balanced. At their own 15-yard line, second and we'll call it seven for Owasso. Keeney has the snap, and now he's going to have to run it. Keeney's got all kinds of room across the 30, at 35, at the 40. He slides. Keeney almost fell down and then saw a hole and exploded through that all the way to the 40-yard line. That's a 25-yard run, and it'll be first and 10 for Owasso at their own 40-yard line. 2.29 to play, first period. Rams up 7-6. to six. Heads up play there by Keeney to get down the, uh, down the field, and the linebackers really split to... Cover, go into coverage, and he just split right between the middle. Tyree Sisson to the near side. This is the receiver you got to watch for. Three receivers to the left side. Keeney brings him up in the shotgun. One man in motion. Now Keeney with the snap. He's going to turn and try to hand to Cabrera, but can't. Now Keeney's going to have to keep it. He's across the 40, and he's going to be taken down around the 42-yard line. Elijah Tomlin was the guy who made that tackle. It's still a nice gain of three, and again, I think that was a broken play, Zach. Yeah, it looks like he missed the handoff, but wisely enough followed the, the uh, running back out to the outside and picked up a couple yards versus just kind of falling down on it. Actually, they're going to give him four, so they'll mark it at the 44-yard line. It'll be second down and six for Injury the Rams. Injury report. Keeney brings him back up. We'll get a report on that injury in just a moment to Union Center from Doc Levins. First of all, on a second and six, Keeney in the shotgun. Look, straight back to throw. Fires right side. That's incomplete as, boy, Union just lit up the receiver. They were trying to go to the inside to Jimmy Wallace, and he got popped. Doc, what do you have for us? Well, Mr. Shannon is getting his ankle retaped, and they usually do that because they're going to see if they can get him back in there. All right, we appreciate it, Doc. Thank you very much. All right, a big third down and six now coming up for Owasso. They lead Union 7-6 with a minute 40 to go here in this first period. They're at their own 44-yard line, so they need midfield. Will Keeney comes back to the line of scrimmage. Cabrera and Thompson are the guys in the right in the backfield. Back to throw is Keeney. Throws it to his left. That ball is caught at the 50-yard line across it. First down out there by Devin Tyler. He's all the way down to Union's 40-yard line before he's run out of bounds. It was Braden Spicer that made the tackle, but that's a nice job of wheeling a guy through the backfield to end up with another 14 yards. And Owasso now at Union's 45, first and 10. We haven't seen Devin Tyler tonight, but he was laid across the middle just on a drag route and no one was around him. They were trying to pick up by the linebacker. So three receivers again, two to the near side, one to the far. Again, Keeney in the shotgun. He will quickly throw to the right side as Cabrera went in motion. He's across the 40. Cabrera almost broke that thing. He's down at the 33. Landon Wood made the tackle, but that's good for 11 and another first down. And the Rams, after that big third and six, now tearing it off in chunks. Yeah, they're just going to try to take this momentum and keep the game pace fast. And they've only only thing they've done is went empty and spread them out and just trying to get to the corners again. 123 to play first period. Owasso seven, Union six, and the Rams are driving. Sisson heads to the far side. He's going to go way out by the numbers. First and 10, Owasso, now at Union's 34. Keeney under center, fakes. Now he's back. He's going to throw deep to the right side, and that ball is going to carry well out of bounds. He was trying to go in there to Thompson, and Thompson was very well covered down there. It wasn't going to matter anyway, so it'll be second and 10 with a minute six to go in the first period. Interesting play call there. They've got everything working to the outside, maybe even running the ball there. But you go under center and, and tighten up your formations and run across on the outside and just uh, not, a, not a great play choice. And Elijah Tomlin was back there as well. You know, Coach told me on Tuesday, Elijah Tomlin runs 4-5. That's a He's, big kid. There are 13 it's players on this, on this team that run 4-5, and that linebacker is one of them. Second and 10, Owasso now at the Union 34-yard line. About a minute to play, first period, 7-6 Rams. Keeney 
Fakes to his left. Now he's going to throw deep. Keeney pumps, fires, and that ball is going to go well over the head once again of Devin Tyler. And Landon Wood had him covered up. As a matter of fact, if that's thrown on time, Landon will take that one back the other way, and it's third and ten. Yeah, and maybe one of those ones you see, and you thought you saw something, and then you pick up and see the, the safety and just let it fly. But, you know, just as fast as they can move two plays and pick up 20, now it's third down and ten, and that really puts the pressure on a young quarterback. Daylon Figures is going to come in and play an extra defensive spot here for Union. Now, Union, what they, what they have not done is they've not pressured Keeney at all. They need to do a little pressure here. Now at the 34-yard line of Union, third and ten for Owasso. Keeney in the shotgun, straight back. No pressure again, fires that ball left side and it's gonna be interference. The ball I think was caught right at the first down marker, but they're gonna call interference. Jimmy Wallace caught the ball. I think that was Alex Davis. Um, Cameron. No, it was Cameron Watts. Sorry, it was Cameron Watts that was out there. I think they're gonna call interference on Cameron Watts. The catch would have probably been right at the first down mark. Yeah, it looked like it was gonna be enough for the first down and when he planted really his feet, Cameron was right on him and may have got a nudge, but you didn't see the nudge. All you saw was the jersey pull from the backside when he was trying to catch back well, up. The officials are talking this one over, which is always dangerous. 55 seconds to go, first period, 7-6, Owasso leads Union. And that was a big third down play. They are gonna call a hold against Union, and Owasso's gonna say no thank you because the catch was good for the first down. So either way, it would have been a but if they, if, wait a minute, if they, turn, if they turn the penalty down, why'd they just move the ball to the 14? Yeah, they just captured the, the yardage, like last week, they captured the yardage and the play. So they got to back it up 10 and try this one again. Yeah, so that, you don't do that. So he turned it down, so you're going to put the ball back at the 24-yard line. That's exactly what they needed for the first down, and it will be first down right there. So the Rams continue this drive. They've had two big third down plays as they continue to throw that ball especially short. Will Keeney has done such a good job on the deep ball this year. As I said, coming into this, Keeney with 14 touchdown passes and only one interception. Now Wasso quickly shifts into a five wide, including a tackle wide. Keeney back to throw. He's going to throw right side deep once again to Sisson. That ball is incomplete. JT McLeod was back there. And they, there may have been just a little bit of contact back there in the corner of that end zone, but it won't matter. Incomplete second and ten. In great position, McLeod, as he, he went up to get a deflection on that thing, played the receiver until the last moment and then turned his head and played the ball with great job. And I think that's the reason they didn't throw the flag because he at least did whip that head around. 38 seconds to play first period. This last part of the first period is just interminably long. 7-6 to six, Owasso leading Union. And they'll have second and ten now at the Redskins 24. Four wide receivers, Cabrera in the shotgun next to Keeney. Keeney back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Keeney's going to have to run. He flips the ball to his left. What a terrific play to Sisson. He got it to Tyree Sisson. He got pounded right as he let that thing go, but he underhanded that thing. Sisson made the catch and got all the way to the Union 19. That's a gain of five. What a remarkable play by young Will Keeney. Yeah, it was a great play. Looks like Darius Murdoch was going to have him tackled back there for a loss and did make the tackle, but Sisson... Smart enough, just toss it out there to his receiver. That was a terrific job of Union to come pressure. Now they're going to let the rest of the quarter run off, and that will end that first period. Well, we said it was going to be exciting, and it has been. You've seen big plays, you've seen bad plays, and you've seen a really good football game. 7-6, Union trails Owasso as we go to the second period. This is Redskins football on KRMG. Ransomware is software that can infiltrate your business through email, enabling cyber criminals to hijack sensitive information as ransom for you. Thank well, you. The crowd mic is much better. Thank Barracuda you. Yeah, email just tell security me. Oh, yeah, just with tell advanced me. threat detection can stop a ransomware attack in its tracks. As an added measure, Barracuda Backup allows you to recover your so data without having either. to surrender to extortion. Yeah. Crime doesn't pay so when you protect uh, right now your business the data with Barracuda. Go to barracuda.com right slash ransomware you know to learn more. If you're going to play Once press, you've got to give them enough. No you've got to be careful. Hi, I'm Christian Von Rickenbach, founder of Helix Sleep, and we know one mattress can't work for everyone. What's that? That's why we created the only mattress built for you. Go to helixsleep.com, yeah, take our two-minute sleep quiz, probably, and we'll build yeah. your custom mattress and ship it to you for free. Try for 100 yeah, nights, and if it's not this. the best sleep you've ever had, we'll pick it up and give you your money back. Go to helixsleep.com slash talk radio right now, you know, you and can we'll ask give the you PA $50 guy. towards your custom mattress. That's helixsleep.com slash talk radio. Shout outs to your favorite player on the open mic on the KRMG app right now. Edric Corey might even play it on the air. News 1023 KRMG. <laughs> A wild and woolly first period here at Union Tuttle Stadium. The number one and number two team in the states playing like it. 7-6, the Redskins trailing the Owasso Rams. Rick Corey with Zach Jones, Doc Blevins. We've got the Johns boys, Richard and Jay. And it's going to be a second, or a third, pardon me, a third down and five for Owasso. 
at the Union 19-yard line after a terrific play by Will Keeney. That was very, you know, Brett Farbish or John Elway run around back there play. and just underhand that thing. But you know, I have to also give Sisson a lot of credit for being smart coming back to the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Setting there right in a great place to catch it uh, just to pick up a couple yards. But that's a heads-up play by the quarterback. Third and five for Owasso. They'll go with five wide receivers. No one in the backfield with Keeney. He stands alone. Now they're going to have uh, Cabrera in motion. Keeney's going to keep it and run, and he's not going to get anything. Keeney's taken down. Nate Raper was the first guy there. Uh, also, it looked like Kelly got in there. He may have lost a half a yard, and it's going to be fourth and five. And now if you're Owasso, do you try for the three, or do you say, forget it, we're going for seven? Uh, I think you take points anytime you're in a close game, and I don't know what their kicker looks like. We saw him kick one extra point, and he's been kicking close to the end zone, so he's got the leg. Looks, Looks like, like they're going to try. They're going to try, and at least they may try to pull him off side. So at the 19 of Union, it's fourth and five for Owasso. Just underway, second period. Rams lead 7-0. Quick snap. Back to throw is Keeney. He's going to go middle of the field, and it is caught at the 10-yard line and bouncing off a player as Cabrera into the end zone for a touchdown. Union mistakenly tried to just deliver the big hit and knock him down. I don't know which player Patrick that Fields. was. Was it Patrick Patrick Fields? Fields? Yeah. He didn't wrap him up, and Cabrera just bounced off him like a pinball spun around and runs into the end zone. It's 13-6. Yeah, Rick, that's the guy I said just keeps his motor running, and Fields delivers an enormous blow, and he comes up and, and uh, he turned around on a dime, put his hand to the ground, and took off into the end zone. That's an impressive play by Bryce Carrera, Cabrera. Alex Haid on for the extra point. Teams are ready. Snap is good. There's the kick. It's up. And it's good. The whistle may have come a little early. Is there a flag? No, he missed no it. He missed it. So with 11-18 to play, at least that's even. Each team has missed an extra point. 11-18 to play. Second period. Owasso extends their lead. Now 13-6 over Union. This is Redskins football on KRMG. What if hiring could be easier? Less time consuming. With more qualified candidates. Well, that, and was, uh, results. that was a great what hit. If hiring could be but, uh, smarter. You either have Thanks to destroy him and knock the ball loose or make the tackle. With one click, Gotta wrap a post guy your up. job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards so you don't you spend time wondering where the right candidates are searching. That. Then ZipRecruiter uses its smart matching technology to scan Thank millions you. of active resumes and notify the most qualified candidates to apply for your job. And the ZipRecruiter dashboard makes it easy to review, rate, and contact candidates all in one place. Got a ball no game, wonder, boys. 80 percent of employers who post on ZipRecruiter this is not your get a quality candidate Ram. through the no, site sir. in just one day. ZipRecruiter makes it simple for growing businesses of all sizes to hire the right people, no matter the industry. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. We're so confident ZipRecruiter will get you the results you need. We'll let you try it free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. You're listening to the flagship station of Union High School Football, News 1023 KRMG. Well, if we had a barn, it'd be on fire. We've got a barn burner here. Union and Owasso, 11-18 to play here in this second period. It is now 13-6. That goes to the Owasso Rams after the 13-play 88-yard drive. Took 352, Cabrera's 19-yard catch and run for the touchdown. The kickoff's going to go very, very short and be fair caught around the 22-yard line. That was Landon Wood who brought it right down right there. They may mark it all the way at the 23-yard line, and that's where the Redskins will take it. All right, offensively, you had the one really big play they got you where you are. What do you see them trying to do here? Um, they still haven't really established the passing game, which I think is going to open up the run game for this tonight because they're only rushing six. And all season, you've seen the defensive lines and the defensive front bring seven against the Redskins, which indicates they're going to have to run the ball. Um, but they haven't done either one very well tonight. So uh, one or the other has to start uh, uh, kicking up first, and it has to be the run game. Take a look if Zoe and Shannon comes out there at the center spot, and he is not. So Zoe and Shannon is not going to be back at the center spot. Union instead will run out there with, let's see, that is going to be, well, they may have moved out Alfonso Gallego, so I'm not sure. First and 10 for the Redskins now at their own 23-yard line. Thompson sends Boone in motion. Quick throw to the right side, and it's almost intercepted. Boy, that was jumped on very, very quickly. And who else? That was Josh Proctor who jumped on that thing and almost picked it off and almost went right to the end zone with it. It's going to be second and 10. That was Wayne Jones. Yeah. He looks like that was the one you see on film, and you see him tighten up real close. Uh, and he just took off running for that, that uh, ball right when it was released. So Tanner Fort will actually come in and play the center position, and Union's just lucky that it's not 19 right now. Second and 10 for the Redskins at their own 23-yard line. Thompson once again in the shotgun. He's going to hand off inside to Darius Boone, and he is caught for a loss of about two yards. 
Owasso is fired up. Momentum lives right now on the east side stands here at Union Tunnel Stadium. It'll be third down and 13, and the Redskin offense so far has just not been impressive. Well, you've seen Boone run behind Gallegos all, all season, and this time he tries to go over there and be patient, but the patience wore off because the linebackers filled in there so quickly he didn't have anywhere to go. 54 total yards for the Redskins as of right now, and they trail 13-6 with 10.44 to play second period. Third down and 13 from their own 20. Thompson in the shotgun. Looks, fires right side, and it's intercepted. Intercepted now to the 10, to the 5, touchdown. That ball was picked off by Hayden Spriggs, and the Redskins are in serious trouble. It is 19 to 6. Owasso is dominating this football game. Well, that was just a great play there by the defensive back. He stepped underneath that slant route, and he was kind of planted on the inside waiting for it. Maybe it's something they've seen on, on film, but that series here looked like the Rams were in the play, uh, in the huddle listening to the play. Yeah, there's no question. They know what's happening. They're, these guys are inside the playbook. That's twice. That was almost picked off and returned on first down, and now it is picked off and returned on third down. Peyton Thompson has not seen a defense do this kind of thing. So the extra point on for the extra point. Ball is down and up, and it's good, but there's also a penalty. I think J.T. McLeod roughed the kicker. The guy he hit was number 85. That is William Feltz. Union, of course, will, that penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Owasso will take the point. So with 10.29 to play in this first half, the Rams are dominating, now leading 20-6 over the Redskins. This is Union Football on KRMG. Self-esteem hotline. Hi again. Remember I had problems with my remember office right doors? There. Yeah, I remember. Did you call They're Robinson right Glass? No, I couldn't find them. What about their website? I couldn't find that either. Well, when I searched for office door window repair, yeah, the cat, Robinson cat and mouse Glass game right now is going across the hall. This is all cat. Out the phone no book. mouse. My boy, a hamster could find Robinson Glass online. I don't have a hamster. Well, then why don't you skip all of that search engine stuff and just type in RobinsonGlass.com? All right, I'll try. Robinson Glass. They are in the huddle right okay, now, man. there it is. Robinson Glass, Tulsa, and Broken Arrow. Now if you're Peyton, you got to be shaking a little. Windshield, shower doors, mirrors, window repair, window replacement, double pane glass. So wouldn't it have been easier to just type in RobinsonGlass.com? It'd be easier to get a hamster and let him do it. Robinson is all you need to know about glass. Robinson Glass. Hey, you really think a hamster could find Robinson Glass online? Either that or a teenager. Oh. I'd go with the hamster. Wouldn't cost as much. Yeah, you're probably right. From the Ferguson Buick GMC Studios, KRMG FS, Sand Springs, KRMG Tulsa. This is the home of Union High School football. News 1023 KRMG. Rams score on the interception return for a touchdown, now leading by a score of 20 to 6 over the Redskins with 10.29 to play, second period. Height on to kick this thing off, and he's just going to kick it once again very high. Landon Wood's going to come up, but Darius Boone will take it at the 20. Darius has got room at the 30. It's going to be across it around the 33-yard line, and that's where that will end. Uh, Kevin Cooper actually grabbed that one. So it'll be Union's football right there. They'll take it around the 33-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Now, all right, Zach, you played some quarterback. Shaken, thrown an interception twice. How do you bounce back? Uh, he's definitely shaken and a little bit stirred, but he's got to find some things, and the coaches have got to really get in there and just realize it, point it out, and say, hey, look, Take what you can get, take this, this, and this, and go back to the called routes, right? When he was doing really well early season, they didn't let him read. They said, throw to this guy, throw to that guy. And you really need to just get it out of his head and tell him what to do and let him get that, get that emotion back in the game. All right, 10-23 to play here in this second period. Union trailing by a score of 20-6. to Kevion Cooper this time will be the running back. Peyton Thompson, the quarterback. Traditional three wide for Union, two to the near side, one to the far. That is C.J. Moore. He's been quiet here tonight. Peyton Thompson is going to hand it off to Kevion Cooper. He busts across the 35 to around the 38 up near the 40-yard line. Kellen Jones and Wayne Jones on the tackle, but the Redskins get a good eight out of it. They're going to hurry to the line of scrimmage and establish the run. Yeah, big run there by Coop, and like I said, they've got to establish. Second and two. Back in the shotgun. They're going to hand to Cooper again, and Kevion's going to pound inside for the first down. He's across the 45 to the 46, and I absolutely agree with this. Carlson Crop on the tackle, but here's the thing you do in this situation. Calm your quarterback. Establish your run game. It's only 20 to 6. This game's far from over. You got a lot of time. Yeah, you got plenty of time, and uh, there's a lot of big plays to be had here, but the big plays don't have to come on every down. Yeah, don't get impatient. They move the ball now to their 46 yard line, first and 10 for the Redskins. Again, two receivers to the near side, Wilson and Alverson. Snap to Thompson. He's going to hand again to Cooper, and Kevion is pounded up this time. He got about two. He got around the 47 yard line. Courtney Alexander made the tackle. It'll be second down and eight, and all you're doing is tenderizing the meat, and the Redskins again in a hurry. They'll come right back to the line of scrimmage. Tight end Lawrence Harris is going to march to the far side of the field. That's where C.J. Moore is out there. 
And Owasso's playing zone coverage. They're not going to take any chances right here, and that's smart. I mean, yeah. even if you're going to play press man to start, I'd be in a zone right now too. Yeah, I think it's smart. Second and eight. In motion goes Wilson. They're going to hand it off to him, and AK jumps up in the middle but does not have much. He gets across the 50. He'll go to the 49 of Owasso. Adams brought him down there, and it'll be a big third down and five. And what you see here is the difference in that jet sweep, and he'd have eight or nine, and now you got two or three, the closing Yeah, speed. I was going to say, Wayne Jones is chasing him from the backside and made the tackle. That kid can fly if you're catching up with AK. So it's going to be at the 49-yard line of Owasso, third and five for Union. They need the 44 of Owasso. Motion again by Wilson. Thompson looks to call the play. Now he looks to the sideline. AK will be lined up right side. That's near side, near the press box, near us, as Union now goes left to right. Four on the play clock. Thompson's going to have to tear hurry. Two, one, and the Union's going to call a timeout. That's the last timeout for Union. This Union offense has been somewhat disorganized here. We're going to keep it here so far tonight. Now, certainly Owasso is doing things on purpose to confuse Peyton Thompson. That's right. It's also, I think, slowing the signals getting in and maybe the coaching staff, too. This may be a double-edged sword. Yeah, you've got a cat and mouse game going on, and, and I'll tell you what, this is something that you don't take into effect a lot. Is uh, I went, I played co um, high school quarterback, went to college to play quarterback, and really then started to get into the offense where I got to call my own plays and see what was going on. As a high school junior, you're seeing this defense shift and shift and this kid hasn't just had all day to practice he's had school and then he's had practice and it's a lot of mind games going on right now but he again he's inexperienced you know he's a junior but he hasn't played obviously union had a, a different quarterback last year that won a championship in grady so you haven't done that and now you come out here and you've watched film but they're doing things you haven't seen that's right so now it's all right coach when they jump into that zone now how do i do that so there's a lot of things happening out here for peyton thompson so it'll be third down and five. Again, Union's on the 49-yard line of Owasso. They need the 44. Union trails 20 to 6 with 8.23 to go second period. Motion. Now Kevion Cooper goes to the left. Four wide. Now Cooper comes in motion. They're going to fake the handoff. They're going to look to go deep. They've got C.J. Moore. He throws deep left side. Caught at the five. Touchdown, C.J. Moore. Boy, Peyton Thompson and fakes the handoff to Kevion Cooper on the jet sweep, and C.J. Moore just blasted by both those Owasso D-backs. 49 yards for the touchdown, and it's 20 to 12. C.J. gassed them. I'll tell you what, they faked that jet, and C.J. was five to seven yards deep quick and was in the end zone. So that's what we talked about, big plays. You, you get things going with your running game. You hand the ball, you hand the ball, and you get done what you need to get done. So now Union tries to get within a touchdown. 8-16 to play, second period, Noah Rauschenberg on for the extra point. Davis dropped the last snap. This one he handles, the kick is up, and it is good. 8-16 to play, second period. We've got ourselves a dandy. It is 20-13, Owasso over Union. Redskins will kick next on KRMG. Worried you're one of the millions whose identity may have been compromised Where are we when in it comes recent to recent breach? Be one of the millions who trust their identity protection to LifeLock. We use proprietary technology to detect a range of threats to your identity, from your personal information appearing on the dark web, to payday loans in your name, and a wide range of other threats. That's interesting. And if there's a problem, our identity restoration specialists will work to fix it. They know the steps to take and calls to make to resolve problems. Of course, no one now, can prevent all identity it. theft or monitor all transactions yeah, I don't and all think businesses, have the liberty of doing but rest that. assured that LifeLock Next week, has maybe. been helping people come out on the bright side of identity theft for over a decade. Join starting at $9.99 plus applicable taxes. <laughs> Signing up online he takes only minutes. Them. Go to lifelock.com or call 1-800-LIFELOCK to get 10% off when you enter promo code NEWS. That's promo code NEWS. LIFELOCK. More detection, more protection. Catch every moment of Union Football on KRMG.com, the KRMG app, and News 1023 KRMG. Big players make big plays in big games. 6-5 C.J. Moore just made one. The 49-yard touchdown catch from Peyton Thompson ends a five-play 67-yard drive. And the extra point good, making it 20 to 16. Pardon me, pardon 20 to 13. Owasso with 8 16 to go here in the second period. Rick Corey, Zach Jones, Doc Levins, Richard, and Jay Johns. The kickoff from Noah Rauschenberg. This time will go into the end zone. And Owasso will start at their own 20-yard line. That's a little bit more like it. He had actually kicked it off to about the one last time, which is very unlike Noah Rauschenberg. All right, so now if you're Peyton Thompson, you got back to the motion. How much does that help? It helps a lot. Uh, you know, this first quarter that seemed like it was an entire game, 
uh, really felt like for him it was going to never end. And so to come right back out and throw that big touchdown, it really lets you just kind of set back. And the coaches are over there just telling them, look, just let it happen. Well, now defensively, you know, that's if, if anything, you say to yourself, all right, 13 right now, not so bad. Owasso's played good defense, but defensively you've given up. Well, you've only given up 13 really because of the, yep. the pick. You've got to come out here and play well. Keeney's going to come back out at quarterback. Keeney in the shotgun rolls to his right. He's getting chased now, and he's going to throw that thing down and away. Spicer was right there on him. That, well, it's, he's outside the tackle box, so it won't be grounding. But Keeney threw that ball into the ground around the 20-yard line with no receiver around, but he was outside the tackle box. The officials are talking this over, though. It's interesting if it went past the line of scrimmage because he did throw it quickly in the dirt. Yeah, they say it went ahead and went, so they're going to call it second and ten. Eight minutes to play in this second period, 20-13, to 13, Owasso leads. Keeney brings him back up. His running back once again is Bryce Cabrera. Motion now from right to left. Keeney in the shotgun is going to turn and hand to Cabrera. He's not going to get the well, he get He cut inside the corner, and he's going to get across the 25-yard line to the 26. Elijah Tomlin ran out there and just had him dead to rights. But he jumped inside him and made a terrific play. Spicer brought him down, but he got six, and it's going to be third down and four now for the Rams at their own 26. And they run right at Kenya Walker over there, and he's got to get a little play out of, out of King James's book and flop a little. Third and four for Owasso at their own 26-yard line. They need the 30. 7.40 to play, second period, 20 to 13, the Rams lead. And the shotgun again is Keeney. Keeney's going to hand inside and swallowed up is Cabrera, but he jumps out of there. He got away, and Cabrera got the first down. How did he do that? Cabrera was eaten up initially. Trey Thompson and Spicer eventually brought him down, but the middle of that uh, defensive line, he bounced in there and came out of there, like you said, like Barry Sanders. That guy's hard to get down. He First is very, and ten. very difficult, like a water bug. I mean, you feel like you had your hands around him, and he just got through your fingers somehow. But again, he came in with only 184 yards and only 10 carries on the year, but that's 18 yards a carry. So first and 10 for the Rams at their own 31-yard line after a miraculous run by Cabrera. Keeney in the shotgun, three receivers. Cabrera now goes in motion. Keeney straight back, looking, looking, firing left side. Ball caught at the 42-yard line. Once again, that was Dylan Chin. Chin gets 13 more and another first down, and just like that, Owasso is rolling. Yeah, that's an easy throw and catch right there, but uh, there you see them just going back to the playbook and just doing the things that they need to do to play football, move the ball down the field. So they'll move it all the way up now to the 44-yard line of Union. The Redskins need to make that big play. 6.46 to play, second period, 20-13. to 13, The Rams lead, and they're moving. Four receivers and Cabrera in the backfield. Hand off to Cabrera, and he is taken down this time right away. He might have actually lost a half yard. Trey Thompson was one of the guys there. Spicer is on the bottom of that pile. So 28 meets 28, and it'll be second and 10. Yeah, if you've got a running back that's going to be that big of a factor, Spicer is going to have to have a big night, and secure tackles is going to make it stop. Keeney is coming out and pointing towards Sisson, who's going to be lined up in the receiver slot to the right. Second and 10. They're going to fire quickly out to Cabrera, and he makes the catch, but he's taken down right away. Cabrera ran right in the back of Devin Tyler, his own blocker, and then Union jumped him quickly. Spicer got out there. Patrick Fields got out there. They're going to give him two, though. That's a pretty good spot. They'll mark it up to the 47, and it'll be third down and eight. Interesting to watch Cabrera. The kid goes 100 mile an hour. It doesn't matter if he's going in motion or if he's running a fake. Man, the kid is just going all the time, and he made a great catch there, but good job by Elijah Tomba to come up and make that tackle. Really quickly to the line of scrimmage now. We'll call it third and seven. The ball's at the 47 of Union, or I mean of Owasso. They need Union's 46. In the shotgun once again is Keeney. Sends Cabrera in motion. Keeney straight back. Here comes pressure. Ball thrown across the middle, and it's incomplete. Elijah Tomlin just buried Will Keeney. Keeney had nowhere to go, and when he looked up, 32 was in his face, and it's fourth down. Union dials up the blitz, and it works. I'll tell you what, they got away with an easy one there. Keeney does the right thing and threw to his hot route. He took some heat for it, but the receiver wasn't, he didn't have his hot route head on because it went right by him and uh, really got away with the lucky one there. So the punter is Alex Haight. Back to return this once again is Landon Wood. Haight standing around his own 32-yard line. 20 to 13 Rams, 5.30 to play in this first half. Teams are ready. Snap is slow and high, but Haight pulled it down. Now this is a very wobbly short kick. Landon's going to take it, and he dropped it, and Union's going to fall on it. Oh, Landon Wood trying to get that thing on the run at the 30-yard line. Very dangerous play, and it was Owasso's Wayne Jones who was right there, but fortunately the Redskins get it back. That's so a, they'll have it first and 10 at their own 30-yard line, and that was a few moment. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's that Wayne Jones, though, back down there. You usually see Landon Woods with a little bit of room, 
and he usually plays it pretty safe. And that one, he tried to take it, and Wayne had his hand right on his hands when he tried to make the catch. Now, to his credit, if he catches it, he had a wall right. and he had momentum, but it just didn't quite work out. Darius Boone will be the running back this time for Union. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line, trailing 20 to 13, 523 to go in this first half. They're going to hand off to Boone. Darius explodes across the 30, to the 35, Darius to the 40. Darius Boone still on his feet, but slipped and fell at the 43. Darius Boone leaving Owasso Rams all over the field. It was Dawson Adams with the final tackle, but not before another 14 and a first down. Beautiful run by Darius Boone, and he didn't give a stiff arm. He gave the chuck on that one. First and 10 now, Union thrown 43. This Redskin offense gearing up a little bit. Three receivers in this pattern. Once again, it'll be handed off to Darius Boone. He looks around to the right side, gets across the 50-yard line. Darius Boone down to the 48-yard line. Taken out of bounds right, once again me. by Mayberry and Dawson Proctor. And there's a player hurt on the sidelines. I think it's Mayberry quickly down to Doc Blevins. Hey, during the week, I, do, I know this from the family, that the coaches have been talking to Darius about running more like a hammer, getting after it, and uh, you see that tonight. Sounds like he listened. Certainly did. Deuce Mayberry is the guy that's going to leave the game, and that left arm is handing straight down like maybe he got a shoulder hit there. Yeah, he came in to hit Boone, and Boone lopped, uh, he lowered the boom on him. And that's, a, that's just a tough one to do. But he did a good job of sticking in front of him, and that's sometimes what you have to do as a, as a DB is make your body the sacrifice. 4.56 to play in this first half. 20-13, to 13, Union trails, but it is second down and two for the Redskins at the 49 of Owasso. Peyton Thompson in the shotgun. Going to hand off again to Darius Boone, and he powers forward for the first down just to it. He got just inside to around the, we're going to call it the 46-yard line. Tyler Moody on the tackle, but that'll move the chains. And it's first and 10 for the Redskins. A couple interesting things happening there. Boone's like just delivering a forearm shiver and running like a man. But then Proctor up top of the, the pre-snap read is really trying to bait Peyton into throwing top to, to uh, C.J. Moore. And so he's given the pre-snap read that he's going to throw in, in, in deep coverage and then just takes off sprint. Yeah, Proctor's taking over there. He's sneaking over again. Three receivers. Wilson will go in motion. The snap inside. Now straight back to throw is Peyton. He's going deep to Avery Alverson. Got him out there, and there's going to be an interference call. And that was... Antoine Overton, who just reached out and grabbed Avery because Alverson had run by him. Just clean had run by him, so he grabbed him, and that was the smart play defensively. So that'll be a hold, and it'll be a first down for the Redskins. That's an interesting call there because when I looked down, I saw Averson pushing backwards, but he was just trying to break the hand off of the defender. Yeah, he just he reached right up. Antoine Overton knew he was beaten and did exactly what he should do, reach up and grab the guy. And he tried to be somewhat subversive about it, but he still got caught. So that'll mark off 10, and it'll be a first and 10 for the Redskins. 4.13 to go in this first half, 20 to 13. Owasso leads, but the Redskin offense is kind of finding itself now. And a really important smart play there by, by Peyton looking off the safety and coming back to, to Alverson. First and 10 now at the 40, or pardon me, 37 yard line of Owasso. Motion by Wilson. Hand off right side again to Darius Moon. Explodes across the 30, down to the uh, th 35, down to the 32 yard line. Kellen Jones made the tackle, but he just ran over somebody else. I think it was Hilton Mosby who got to meet the number 27 train. They'll give him six. It'll be second and four. The Kellen Jones came around him like a like a collar, <laughs> ring around the collar, got it around the neck, uh, but made a great secure tackle. But man, I tell you what, Boone is just running hard. Second and four now at the Owasso 31 yard line for the Redskins. C.J. Moore wide left side, A.K. Wilson over there as well. Snap and hand to Peyton once again. Hands to Darius Boone again. Darius powers forward across the 30, still on his feet. Boone's finally down at the 25-yard line. He bounced off three Owasso players laying on the ground, including Darius Palmer, and almost flipped over and stayed at his feet. But they're going to give him a first down. They'll mark it at the 24 of Owasso. Yeah, I don't know that he ever did touch the ground, but great job there just staying after it. Quickly to the line of scrimmage again. Alverson to the near side, Wilson and Moore to the far. Peyton Thompson again in the shotgun. He's going to again hand to Darius Boone, and Darius kind of fell down. His feet got a little bit too excited for his body, and he got about a yard. They're going to say Darius Palmer made the tackle, but that's generous. He was just in the area. 3.32 to play, first half, 20 to 13. Redskins trail, but they are moving, second and 10. They'll give him maybe a little bit. We'll call it second and nine and a half. Ball set at the 24 yard line of Owasso. They'll need the 14. 16 on the play clock as Thompson brings him back up. Again, Alverson on the near side. He has single coverage. Kevion Cooper now in at the running back slot. They're going to quickly throw right side to Alverson. Avery at the 20, runs right through the tackler and gets down to the 17-yard line. The guy that got down there, I think that was Preston Hendricks who made that tackle. No, Elijah it was, Washington. It was Nick Rendon, or Elijah Washington, all right, sorry, that made that tackle. And a big third down and three coming up now. 
Ball at the 16, they need the 14, maybe the 13 for the first down. 2.48 to play first half, 20 to 13 Owasso, but the Redskins seriously threatening. Kevion Cooper will move to the left side of Peyton Thompson in the shotgun. Thompson's ready. He's going to hand inside to Kevion. He's got a big hole right side. Kevion, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Redskins. Dawson Adams was the guy at the corner, and Cooper just broke his ankles. 2.32 to play in this half, and it's 20 to 19, and how about that? Well, I'll tell you what, Elijah Washington is playing on the outside, and they were trying to take advantage of that because he was in the game for the recently injured Deuce Mayberry. And as Deuce Mayberry, they're playing a little bit of extra coverage over here to cover Alverson. Well, that made the defensive back overplay Cooper, and then he tried to make a one-arm tackle, and that's not going to happen on Cooper. So this extra point goes through. This will be 14 straight for the Redskins to tie it up. Once again, Davis, who has done some great work this year holding, will hold. That ball was low, but Davis got it down. That's a miracle worker right there, and it's through and good. 2.32 to play first half, and we're all even. 20 to 20, Owasso and Union. This is Redskins football on KRMG. Hi, this is State Farm Agent Matt McCoy. If now do they know, handle the I have moment. played on winning teams my That's entire career. Right there. And now I'm on a winning team at State Farm Insurance. You want to rejoin here or just music? Yeah, you can rejoin. Monday through Friday Thank from 8.30 to 5.30. Thank you. If you have free quote, we will give you no, a free you. ten dollar yeah. gift card. Oh, yeah, that was that was that's Literally probably the most intense. Ask me about getting your free Texas slowly Roadhouse methodical momentum steal because they were up big and now they've lost it. Now they start to lose oh, yeah. confidence. Now you think. Yep. Now you got the wheels turning. Now the good thing for them is they get to start the second half. If they can just keep it, you'll get a one hundred dollar bonus. And every time you use. Oh, by the way, could we back off the crowd mic just a little bit more again? They're starting to get louder. No one leave me Mike alone. Is better okay. in balance. With a fruit credit, annual percentage yield for dividend bearing accounts is By the way, the mood's got a lot better on the sideline. I'll ask, I'll ask you that here on after we kick off. All right. Within 60 business Let's just kick it out of the end zone so Some Proctor can't return it. Federally insured by NCUA. Never miss a moment of Union High School football. Download the KRMG app now. Available for Apple and Android. Union Redskins have tied this game on a nine-play, 70-yard drive. Took them 257. Kevion Cooper's crushing 17-yard run, and the extra point by Rauschenberg makes it all even. But what would you expect when number one and number two get together? It's 20 to 20. Noah Rauschenberg will kick off from left to right with about two and a half minutes to play here in this first half. Rauschenberg approaches, and this one's going to easily go into the end zone, and Josh Proctor will not have an opportunity to run it out. So now, Zach, we talked about it before the game. Do you handle the moment? Owasso had all the moments on their side in the first period. That's turned now. Now do they handle the moment? Yeah, now is the time where they're going to make it or break it. And, and I say before half, they still get to reset in two minutes and 32 seconds. But if the defense can make a quick stop here, go three and out, it's going to really cause some doubt. And they have not three and out yet tonight. Owasso has been very good on offense. Bill Blankenship's a smart guy. He knows what's, in, what's at stake here. Now, remember, too, Union had to call all their timeouts. So right. you, you, you can't stop the clock. If you do get it back, you're going to have to play offense. You're going to have to play offense smart. You don't have any timeouts left. So it's first and 10 Owasso at their own 20-yard line. Keeney brings him back up. He'll hand off right side to Cabrera, and he's going to power forward to around the 22. And you know what Bill wants to do? He wants to get to the half. Yeah, he wants he, to run the clock. Get he's going to run the clock. Now, he may take a shot. I'd be really shocked if he didn't take one, but he'd like to get first downs and run the clock. 2.70 to go, first half, 20 to 20. These two tied, Union and Owasso. It'll be second and eight from the 22-yard line of Owasso. Keeney brings him back up again. Cabrera is his running back, and that little pop knot's been everywhere tonight. Yeah, Keeps he, are taking he, a long time here. He was for sure one we didn't need to keep an eye on. Two receivers left side. One little short slot, and Cabrera on the same side. Back to throw is Keeney. Keeney has time. Now he's running out of time. Keeney runs to his right. Now he's going to run with it. There's a... There's a uh, Flag down or something went down at the 35-yard line. Keeney's across it to the 36. There's a flag back at the 20. Elijah Tomlin made the tackle, but that's going to be a hole. Yeah, that's a great job by Keeney to get out and get loose, maybe picking up the first down again, moving the chains, moving, and letting the clock burn. burn. But uh, when you're back there in the backfield that long, there's bound to be a holding. And here, here is where having used all your timeouts really hurts. Right. Otherwise, right here, you could actually play to get the football back and make something happen. Owasso now, if they want to, can really. A minute 44 to play in this first quarter, or pardon me, first half, it's 20 to 20. Owasso faces a second and about 22. They're back at their 10. Oh, we'll call it second and 20 straight up. 
But now with the clock running at a minute 35, 13 on the play clock, they don't have to snap it until around 119. Yeah, Bills over there says they were just going to milk all of these yep. seconds and, and maybe take, take a timeout. Time yeah. Yep. Well, that's why he's uh, won some state championships and some conference championships in college. He's not stupid, is he? Yeah, you, you don't get to that level and make some great plays uh, without knowing the game. Timeout. So a timeout called by Bill Blankenship. And let's go down to Doc Blevins on the sidelines. Doc, earlier it was a little bit, uh, you know, if, if it can be a comedy and a tragedy, earlier it was a tragedy. I think you're seeing some more smiles now, aren't you? Well, the uh, mood on the sidelines is a whole lot better now. <laughs> but part of it is they, they're back in this ball game and they realize they can play with these guys. And uh, that confidence is building back. Now, I have not been able to corner Peyton and talk to him because when he's on the sidelines, he's being instructed pretty heavily. But uh, I, I know him well enough to know his confidence will be there. Well, and that's the good thing because you know the guy got thrown into it. And now he had a tough week last week. He dropped the ball several times. The first interception tonight was not a bad throw, not at all. And when he got picked off on the second one for the touchdown, that's just a bad read. But that happens. Otherwise, tonight, I think he's been fine. Yeah, I think but, you're absolutely right. And there's nothing really to be ashamed of. You're going to throw interceptions when you throw the ball. So that you just got to get back in the game and go. Yeah, what Barry Switzer say? You throw the ball, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> of course, nowadays, no one would agree with that. All right, so it's going to be second down and 20 for Owasso at their own 10. Keeney's going to hand off to Cabrera inside, and he'll bounce it up across the 11 to about the 13-yard line. Kenya Walker was there. That'll move it about four yards, and it'll be second down. Well, a minute eight to go now with 25 seconds left on the play clock. Again, back down to Doc Levins. Hey, you talked about Barry Switzer saying that. There was another great coach that did too, and I'm interviewing Mayor Dick Crawford at halftime. We're probably going to hear a little about Woody Hayes. Yeah, you might, you might do that. That's right. It's going to be an interesting interview for Doc Levins. He'll be up on the uh, balcony near the Redskins room. Yeah, they're going to let it run all the way down as much as they can. There's 44 seconds on the game clock, 13 on the play clock, so they'll – Snap this thing around 14 to go, or about 40 to go. So it's third down and about 18 for Owasso, and Keeney once again to the line of scrimmage. Proctor's going to be the guy in the shotgun. They're going to actually, pardon me, Keeney's in the shotgun. Proctor in motion. Keeney tried to run it up the middle. Could not. And the clock will now go inside the play clock, and so that's going to end the half. 18 seconds left on the play clock, 25 on the game, on the, uh, pardon me, game clock. So this will end the first half. So we will go to the half exactly how we started, all tied up. Union had a terrible first quarter, a great second quarter, and we're even at 20. Union, 20. Owasso, 20. We're at the half. Redskins halftime next on KRMG. I'm Jim Evanger, CEO. Can I take three here? Yes, sir. I'm on the phone with Brian, a Renew Sleep System user. Brian, Couldn't how feel do you feel any more confident going to half even? No, that's no question. How do you feel now? Being able to get better sleep has sort of permeated into all areas of my life. Our office at 81st and 129th. We look forward to meeting you. The 2018 Subarus are in at Ferguson. See why Subaru is named Kelly Blue Book's 2017 most trusted brand and is best the overall last one brand. Right Test drive the new technology of Yes, sir. This is the final spot of the set. Okay. Redesigned all uh, new 2018 Crosstrack. The stylish new one, the legacy or the refreshed out. No, sir, we do not. Okay, uh, I've got a rejoin here, but I, I can take it straight to music if you want me to. Yeah, just to set on the uh, new 2018 the Forester, field, top back or legacy. Clear, it's standard it's equipped with the legendary road gripping symmetrical all wheel drive. Subaru, the best all wheel. Coming back straight to music, sir. Snow or ice at Ferguson Subaru. Just off the VA at the Elm Place exit across from Bass Pro. Or find them at FergusonSubaru.com. 2017 Kelly Blue Book brand image awards are based on the brand watch study from Kelly Blue Book Strategic Insights. Or calculated among non luxury shoppers. For more information, visit KBB.com. Kelly Blue Book is a registered trademark of Kelly Blue Book Company. E. We're back at Union Tunnel Stadium. It is about to be third quarter time. It is 20 to 20, Union and Owasso. Rick Corey, Zach Jones, Doc Levins, Richard, and Jay Johns, and it is set. No Rauschenberg will be kicking off from right to left. The guys back deep once again are Devin Tyler and, of course, Josh Proctor. The Ohio State commit who just runs out there looking like a man. Rauschenberg will approach and try to put this thing in the end zone. The foot to it, it'll go well into the end zone, and that will not be returned. Quick look at the halftime stats. Union with 181 total yards, 86 on the 86 through the air, 95 on the ground. Peyton Thompson. 
difficult first half for a while. 4 of 11 for 86 yards and a touchdown, two interceptions. Meanwhile, a good first half for a couple of guys running the football, including Kevion Cooper, 11 for 58 yards, and Darius Boone. All right, and from a Wasso standpoint, 157 total yards, 105 of those through the air, 52 of those are rushing yards. So it's first and 10 for the Redskins, or pardon me, for the Rams at their own 20 yard line, moving from left to right. We are just underway now, third period, and the two teams battling in a tail of quarters, really. First quarter, all Owasso, second quarter, all Union. Will Keeney brings him back out with Bryce Cabrera, his running back. Three total receivers. He's going to hand to Cabrera left side. He's going to squeeze forward across the 20 to about the 22. Nate Raper up off the bottom of that pile, along with Braden Spicer, who's made almost every tackle tonight. We'll call it second down and eight right there. And after slinging it around a little bit, Owasso, late in that half, kind of settled back into running the ball a little bit more. Yeah, they tried to run the ball a little bit more in that second half, but they uh, they didn't get a lot of yards out of it, and that's really probably what slowed their offensive drive down. Second down and eight for the Rams at their own 22-yard line. Keeney in the shotgun, straight back to throw. Keeney looking to his left, now running out of time, and he'll go down, Jordan Kelly. But there's a face mask penalty, I think. Kelly grabbed him around the neck, and it may be a horse collar, or it could be a face mask because he had the hand up high. That would be back around the 17, but I think they're going to get him. Yep, they're going to get him for a personal foul face mask. And I did not see Jordan grab the face mask. I saw the hand high, I but either. I didn't see it. He grabbed him around the neck, almost like just to give him a, a hug from the side. You know, when you put your hand around your buddy. And it looked like they grabbed onto that shoulder pad there from the front. But uh, the referee was standing right there, and he didn't have any else to, to discuss with Jordan. He's trying to plead his case. But. So it'll mark it at the 32-yard line. That'll be a first down now for Owasso. Just underway, second half, 20 to 20. These two teams are tied. Keeney in the shotgun, Cabrera to his left. Short slot there as well. They hand to Cabrera, and he has nowhere to go. Kenya Walker just there right away. Darius Murdoch was there as well. They'll give him the line of scrimmage, but that's really all. It'll be a second down and 10. Well, there's a little bit of run game going on there. That was a great two-play series. We almost had to put up a third and 10. And so the defense really kind of stepping up here to try to set the uh, set the tone. But Will Keeney has had a successful night throwing the football. Tyree Sisson has been his key receiver, but also threw a deep touchdown to Sam Thompson. So second and 10 for Owasso, now at their 32. And put Sisson in motion, and now back to throw as Keeney, he's going to get hit as he throws, and that one's going to be well overthrown. He's trying again to go to Thompson. That was Patrick Fields on the coverage. And Jordan Kelly apparently got fired up in the locker room at the half because he put a pretty good pounding. Right there on Keeney, and we have a player down. That is JT McLeod, but he's up. Looks like just a shoe. And it's going to be third and 10 now for Owasso, throw on 32-yard line. Yeah, Jordan Kelly in there in the backfield getting the head on the quarterback. And like you said, he's as good as he can be on any play that he decides to play. Here the second half, he's come to play. So that's really important for the, the defensive line there to get some pressure on Keeney. Davis is going to come in and play linebacker. He's actually a defensive back, so Union's going to load up. Third and 10 for Owasso, four wide receivers, and Cabrera offset to the left of Keeney. Big play right here from their own 32. Keeney, back to throw, has time, looking. Now running out of time as he runs to his left, is being chased. Keeney's going to square his shoulders and try to throw, and finally just throws it away as Kenya Walker chased him out of bounds and finally popped him just before he got to the sidelines. So it'll be fourth down and 10, and that was a very good series for the Union defense. First three and out of the night. That's a great job by the series, and uh, our statistician says two, but it may be one. We'll see uh, here when the officials come out. But yeah, that, that was right at the sideline where uh, Kenya Walker finally caught up with him when he was trying to throw the ball, and Keating took a shot. That's an easy time for you to get an extra penalty, and it's a great job that they didn't. Haight will be out to kick this thing away, standing in his own 19-yard line. Union will get it for the first time in the second half, tied at 20 apiece, Union and Owasso. Landon Wood standing just about the Union 40. There's the snap and the kick, and it's going to be a little deeper. Landon's got a shot. He catches it at the 40-yard line, but he won't get far. He goes to around the 44-yard line. He's dragged down out of bounds, and he was a step out of bounds when he was taken down. But the players had momentum going to the sidelines, and i got to tell you, Zach, I think that's a good note. Yeah, call. I think that's the right call. The, 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 uh, the stands, everybody was on their feet, but that was, that was not going to get called. 10-15 to play, third period, tied at 20. Union and Owasso, let's pause for station identification. This is Redskins football on KRMG. From the Ferguson, Buick, GMC Studios, KRMG FS, Sand Springs, KRMG Tulsa. First and 10 Redskins at their own 45-yard line. It will be Darius Boone coming out at the running back slot to start things for the Redskins. Peyton Thompson, the shotgun, his traditional three receivers. 
Snap to Thompson. He hands to Boone straight up the middle, and Darius bounces forward across the 45. He didn't get much. He's around the 47-yard line. Dawson Adams in on the tackle, and that's where the Redskins made a living late in the first half. That goes for two. It's second and eight. Yeah, that's a great job there by Boone to set the, the uh, linebacker up, and he kind of gave him a head and shoulders fake to the outside, set him up on the, the uh, lineman, and then went up inside, picked up a couple. Second down and eight for the Redskins at their own 47-yard line, a 20-20 game of the Wasso in the third period. Thompson waiting, hands off again, and Darius breaks across the 50, across the 45, across the 40. Darius at the 35, dragging Rams with him. Down inside the 30, Darius to the 25-yard line. Wayne Jones needs to pay a dollar for the ride, but he finally got him down. 22 yards, first down Union. Wayne Jones might be fast, but he's not going to bring down Darius Boone unless he brings everything he's got. First and Boone. First and 10 Redskins now at the 26 of Owasso. Quickly, Thompson hands off once again to Boone. Darius to the outside, runs through one of his own blockers and gets down to the 24. That's as good a two-yard run as you'll ever see. Kellen Jones on the tackle. Great job by Ricky Strongbird there, almost making the tackle as well. But Boone just going to continue going downfield, fired up right now. Darius Boone has just come to play here as this Union team has in the second half. 9.23 to play. Third period, 20 to 20, but the Redskins are threatening. We'll call it second and nine now at the Owasso 24. Four receivers, two to either side for Thompson. Boone to his left. Owasso shows blitz, and they'll come with it. Thompson throws left side screen. Darius makes the catch, 25, 20, 15 yard line, jumps inside it. Darius Boone down to around the 12. What a brilliant call. And it worked exactly as it should. That goes for another 11 in the first down, and the Redskins will hurry. They're now at about the 14. We'll make it the 13 so they can't get a first down. Three receivers again. Boone again in the shotgun. They're going to hand off again to Darius Boone. He's going to bounce out left side across the 10, down to the 8. He's chased from behind all the way by Carson Kropp, who came across and made that tackle. But that's a good gain of five, and the Redskins have a second and five at the eight-yard line. Yeah, that screenplay two plays ago was just one of those ones that was set up perfectly right into the blitz. And if Boone had more experience, that's a tough one to play as a young runner back. But if he had a little bit more patience, that was clear to yeah. the house. He's going to go to the hole. That's no, no doubt. They'll mark it at the eight. Union needs the three for a first down. It's second down and five. Again, Boone the setback to the left of Thompson. Two receivers to the right side. Thompson with the snap, hands to Boone, straight up the middle. Darius tries to bounce it outside and got to about the six, and he dropped the football, but I think Union got back on it. Looked to me like he was down before he I dropped thought. it, but the officials didn't say so. Jones and Jones, that's Kellen and Wayne there on the tackle. He got to about the six, but they'll mark it back to the nine on the recovery. It'll be third down and about six. Union needs the three for the first down. Mario's the guy that came up with that ball. C.J. Moore will be lined up to the left side. That's the near side to us. A.K. Wilson will be the inside receiver. Avery Alverson to the far side. Also out there, Lawrence Harris, the tight end. He's in a short slot. So four receivers and the one running back once again is Boone. Three on the play clock. They'll have to hurry. Peyton Thompson on third down and six. And now they're going to have to call a timeout, and Union does. Did they call a timeout? Or yeah, they, the they did. Game? The coach actually ran down and okay. called timeout, but it was the official on this side who didn't make a big demonstrative uh, uh, signal. So that will be a called timeout because the union was about to run out of time right there. We're going to keep it right here because it may not be a long timeout here. So it's 20 to 20, and the Redskins on a very impressive drive after getting Owasso three and out on their first series now ends up with a third down and six. Now, certainly down here, you think if you don't get it, you go ahead and take the three and, and just get ahead because. The whole point was to finally lead in this game, which Union had not done. Yeah, you want the lead, and it's unfortunate that you put a put such a good drive together if you don't get the six. But any points count right now, and you've got to take them all. Having the lead, I think there was just a mental thing about having the lead in this game, and also how Owasso handles that. We talked about handling the moment. Well, and Union's been fighting back, fighting back, and so going into half, making the stop right outside of half, and then putting points on the board to really put them down after the, the uh, you know, as the second half starts, is really a mindset that's going to be an obstacle to overcome. What's really interesting here on the cat and mouse game is is going to stick with that zone defense, which gives you an opportunity to run the football. That's right. So here we go on a third down and six. The Redskins at the nine of Owasso. They'll need the three. It's a 20 to 20 game, early third period. Hand off inside to Darius Ooh. Boone, and he got hammered. Oh, Darius got to the eight and just got crushed. That was Cotray Alexander who popped him backwards, and here comes number 99, Noah Rauschenberg, to try to give Union the lead. And apparently, Owasso knew what was happening right there. Yeah, that one hurt. I tell you what, Boone got up and he's walking to the sideline, but that one. That would hurt a lot. It'll hurt a little pride, too, because that was a smack right there at the line of scrimmage. So Noah Rauschenberg will put the ball down. 
Holder Davis, she will put the ball down around the 16 yard line, dead center middle of the field, 26 yard attempt. Now the Union snaps have not been strong. That one was, Davis has it down. The kick is up, but he, he shanked it, he missed it. Noah Rauschenberg missed it, and that never happens. But 99 kicked that one off to the left. It's no good, and we are still tied at 20. Seven weeks to play here in this third period. We'll keep it here. It looked like the hold was good. It looked like the snap was good, and he maybe just did not get it very well. You know, sometimes it's just too many good things for him. He's had so many bad snaps, he's been waiting for it, and that one was right on the ground. And uh, something that we don't see out of Noah very often is a missed kick. We'll have to have Doc Blevins check to make sure to see if that was tipped or something. I don't think it was, although Owasso's been coming off that corner pretty strong all night long. So both teams come up fruitless in their first drive in the second half, and with seven minutes to go in the third period, it's 20 to 20, and Owasso will have the ball again. Under this time, under center this time, will be Keeney with Cabrera the single setback. They're going to turn it hand to Cabrera on the left side, and he's going to pop across the 20, up to around the 25 yard line. A good first down run of five. Once again, Spicer in there on the tackle. Also, Raper getting up and Kenya Walker. But that's a good gain. It'll be second and five for the Rams at their 25. Yeah, walk, good, good tackle by Walker there. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Tight end left side, slot left side. Now Sisson goes in motion. They hand off again to Cabrera, and he'll push forward for about two. Did not get the first down. He got three. Nate Raper on the tackle. And now at the 28-yard line, it's a big third down and two for the Rams. Well, they're going to have to come up um, and really tighten up your splits. They're not going to throw the ball here, I don't believe, with third and short because they're going to have to kick it if they miss. But really tighten down here and, and stop the run. This is a classic place for Bill to throw deep, quite honestly. Third down and two for Owasso at their own 28-yard line. Sisson in motion. Now Keeney will run straight up the middle, and he has the first down. Breaks across the 35. Almost broke that thing. JT McLeod with a saving tackle at the 41-yard line. But that's not before a 12-yard run and a first down for Owasso now, just outside their 40. Well, it looked like he didn't have a lot of room to run and just found a little bit of gap and put his head down and picked up plenty for the first. Well, anytime you, the quarterback is the guy with the football, you've got one extra blocker, and he just found his hole. Six minutes to go, third period. The two teams still tied, 20-20, to 20, Union and Owasso here at Union Tuttle Stadium. Keeney under center. Cabrera the single setback. Now motion from right to left. Two receivers right, and he dropped the football. It's on the ground. And Union's not terribly excited, so I think, well, Jordan Kelly Jordan has the Kelly ball. Jordan Kelly got up with it. Jordan Kelly is holding the football. The officials have made no call. They're just standing. There was still a pile on the ground, and Jordan Kelly got up with the ball in his hand. Jordan Kelly had the football standing up, and the referees thought they are going to call it second down. So the ball was dropped. Keeney dropped the snap. And I don't know who got on it initially. I just saw Jordan Kelly stand up with it, but apparently Keeney got it back. Second and 11. Quickly to the line of scrimmage is Owasso. Keeney fakes. Now he's going to throw deep. That ball's up in the air, and it is intercepted by Landon Wood. Landon Wood picks it off. They were trying to go to Sam Thompson, but that ball was thrown off Keeney's back foot, and it sailed. Number three with great coverage up underneath, and finally the Redskins get a turnover that goes their way. First and 10 Union at their own 39. That's like a shot call. That's one that they call in the huddle because they play action and they just let it go. There wasn't a read there, and if Keeney would have been able to read it, he wouldn't have thrown that ball. But that's a great job by the defenders and Landon Wood coming up with the interception. Well, and classically, as he goes backwards, the ball sails. He did not have a chance to set, so it's first and 10 Redskins. And let's see if Union can make a little hay out of this. Kevion Cooper will once again be the running back. First and 10 at their own 39. Tie game, 20 to 20, 5.30 to go, third period. Motion by Wilson, and that ball falls to the ground, then quickly picking it up is Thompson and throws it out to C.J. Moore. There's a flag down, but C.J. got around the first down marker. He got around the 48. But the flag is likely to be holding against Union, and that's what it is. I don't know how you hold on that play. It's so, it's so quickly thrown. So that will mark off. They're going to put this thing right back around the 34, and that's where it goes. 34-yard line, so it'll remain first down, but it'll actually be first and 15 for the Redskins, so no panic yet. 20-20, to 20, Redskins and Owasso in a tight one here. 5.27 to go in this third period. Rick Corey, Zach Jones, Doc Blevins, Jay, and Richard Johns. There you go. I said your name first. You yeah. happier? Jay told me he'd pay me if he did. I'm expecting the five. First and 15 for the Redskins. Peyton Thompson back under center. 
He's going to hand off to Kevion Cooper. Kevion bursts up inside and then tries to go to his right. Not much there. Got to the 35-yard line before Carson Crop brought him down. So it'll be second down and 14 as they try to hammer away. Let it. And Owasso, as we mentioned, they're going to play a zone. They are not going to bring those corners up tight or those safeties up tight. And, you know, really, that's really keeping their best player, Josh Proctor, not much in the game. Yeah, it's kind of isolating the receivers and making them run the ball. So uh, Proctor stands out there on the island, splitting the receivers on the top side most of the evening. Second and 14 for the Redskins. Three receivers, two of those to the right, one to the left. Thompson in the shotgun again. Now this time he looks to throw quickly and does to C.J. Moore. C.J. makes the catch. He's the first down still on his feet, and he's out of bounds at the 47-yard line. And he was spun out of bounds by Carson Kropp when he was well out of bounds, but no flag because he didn't hit the ground. But a nice first down play now for the Redskins at the 47 of Owasso. Good job by CJ there. Shook loose one tackle and thought he was gonna get another. A great pursuit there by the Owasso Rams to save the touchdown. And they're gonna put his shoe back on. They dragged his shoe off, so. The Union will bring on a second receiver. A.K. Wilson and Alverson will be wide to the right. Kevion Cooper again, the running back. First and 10 at the 47 of Owasso. They'll hand off to Kevion straight up the middle, and he pops through a hole to the 40, down to the 39-yard line. That Union offensive line is now starting to dominate. Jones and Moody on the tackle, but not before eight yards. Second and two Redskins now at the 39. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Once again, Peyton Thompson set to go. He's going to hand off again to Kevion Cooper. He's going to be able to get outside, but just could not get much past the 39. Dawson Adams was a guy to the outside. He got one. It's going to be third down and one. 4-17 to play third period, tied at 20. But the Redskins have a big third down, and we'll actually call it two at the 39 of Owasso. Two receivers right, one to the left. Short slot is Harris, the tight end. Owasso shows blitz, but a quick throw to the left side is completed, and across the 40, down to around the 37-yard line, and I think that's going to be a first down. That's Brentavious White who came in for C.J. Moore. No, nope, they're going to mark him short. Oh, and my, that is close. That is really close. And even if they measure it, I think they get it. Fourth down and not a lot in Union. And they're not going to measure. No, nope, they're going to bring out Trace Lewis, another tight end who weighs about 270. And it's going to be fourth down and not much. From the stick on the other side, it looks like it's about an inch short of the line. And where they've lined it up, it's over the line. I don't know why they don't measure this. Here we go. Fourth down and less than a yard for Union at the 38 of Owasso. A tie game, 20 to 20 in the third period, and the Redskins think it over and call a timeout. We'll take a break as well. 20 to 20 and a big fourth down coming. This is Redskins football on KRMG. Need to reconnect, buddy. Ford Power Stroke, Dodge Cummins, GM Dura. Proudly support. All, all right, I'm back. Parents, 30 years. Rick, can you give me a reconnect, please? Yeah, I just did. Customer service, affordable financing, and an award-winning service Mike. department. Show us your. Okay, thank you. Uh, if it does it again, I'm going to go to three. I got three to connect immediately. I just couldn't tell you. So if we, have, if we need to again, next time you tell me. If you do tell me, we're going to go to three. Well, I've got three in queue and ready to go. Listening to the flagship station of Union High School Football, News 1023 KRMG. Big fourth down and one for the Redskins at the 38-yard line of Owasso. Quickly to the line of scrimmage, Kevion Cooper is going to be in the shotgun. Kevion runs forward, has the first down across the 35-yard line. Kevion Cooper on the Wildcat. That's good for four, and the Redskins continue the drive. 3.29 to go, third period. 20-20, to 20, Union and Owasso, but the Redskins are driving. Now Peyton Thompson is back in. Alverson wide to the far side of the field. That's the right side. Wilson and Moore to the short side. C.J. had a shoe issue that's fixed cooper remains the single setback to the right now wilson in motion they're going to hand to ak wilson right side and he's going to have to cut it back inside cannot he's going to lose about two yards that was kutre alexander the same guy that popped darius boone in that last possession and that's going to be a loss of three it'll be second and 13 and you know come to think of that 
We haven't seen Darius since he got that shot laid. Yeah, I was wondering wonder if they were going to okay. put him in short yardage, and they didn't. But he's, I, he was walking around on the sideline, so I think he's fine. But that was such a good shot. I mean, <laughs> he'll come back in. He's got to take a break. Second and 13 for the Redskins. Now at the 35-yard line of Owasso. 2.44 to play in a scoreless third period, 20-20. to Four wide receivers. Peyton Thompson in the shotgun by himself. Lawrence Harris is a slot that way. Quick throw to the right side. Now he's going to toss it forward to Harris. He's going to drag people across the 30. Lawrence Harris all the way to the 29. The scrum is still moving. Lawrence Harris is, is going to fall down at the 27-yard line. Harris was hit back at the 31-yard line, but he refused to fall. And the two teams did have a rugby scrum going, so that's going to be good for about seven. It's third and five. Ball at the 28-yard line of Owasso. Union needs the 22. So we're going to call it maybe more like six. Thompson brings him up. Two more minutes to play, third period in the tie game. Moore and Wilson to the left. Cooper shifts to the right now of Thompson. Owasso shows blitz. Hand off to Cooper. has got a hole, 25. Kevion across it to the 20. First down, Redskins. Dawson Adams made the saving tackle. But that offensive line opened a gap on the right side, and it's first down, and the Redskin offense is chugging. What a great job there, getting across the outside and picking up enough for the first down. First and 10 now at the Owasso 20. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Thompson again in the shotgun. Going to hand off to Cooper, and he jumps outside on the right side and makes it around two when it didn't look like there was anything there, and it looked like maybe Owasso and Union jumped off sides. No flag, though. That'll be a game of two. It'll be second down and eight. Tackle in there by Crop and Jones. Well, that's just a big pickup there on that third down. I say what, the, uh, the line of scrimmage did a great job of opening up a hold for Cooper. And Cooper, you can't take back what you did. He picked up the first down, but he could have taken a sidestep to the right. He might have got it in the end zone. Minute, minute 18 to play, third period, 20 to 20. Union and Owasso, second and eight for the Redskins at Union, or pardon me, at the Owasso 18. They're going to hand off once again. No, they fake the handoff going middle of the field to Lawrence Harris. Makes the catch at the two. Josh Proctor knocked him down there, but Harris at the two-yard line. It's first and goal, Redskins. And you hear the crowd with the big ooh, but what matters is the first down. Darius Boo is going to come back in at the running back spot as the Redskins try to take their first lead of the night. That was a huge catch there by Harris, and a lot of times you'll see a tight end look like they might fall into the end zone and take their concentration off of it. He did just what he needed to, make the catch securely and then go down. Proctor hit him good. First and goal for the Redskins now at the two of Owasso. Thompson in the shotgun. Hands to Boone. He's going to be dragged down at the three. And the ball was loose, and Owasso has it, and I have not heard a whistle blow. Owasso's out of there across the 30 to the 35 to the 40. Across the 45, the Rams may score. The Rams may score. That is Kellen Jones, who's going to go into the end zone on the other side for a touchdown. I never heard a whistle. The Redskins thought they heard a whistle. There's no signal from any of the officials right now. And now, they, now the head referee says touchdown. What a stunning play. Darius Boone was taken down around the three yard line and a really solid hit and looked to be down and suddenly an Owasso player came out of there with the football and goes some 95 yards for what looks like a touchdown. And I don't know what happened there with the ball. It looked like, he, of course, he was on the ground, but he was accosted. The ball was taken from him. I don't know if it bounced or was just stripped. I'm going to see the replay here as he goes to the right. Number five rips the ball from his hands before he falls down, picks it up, and his knee's on the ground, and they let him get up and run with it. Well, it's, you see it on the jumbotron, but the officials don't have replay in high school football. The call has been made. It doesn't matter. It's 26-20 to 20 with 36 seconds to go in the third period, and the extra point up coming from Heights. Kicks it through, and it's good. So the Redskins are two yards away from taking the lead, and in a stunning turn of events, Owasso returns a fumble 97 yards for a touchdown when the player who returned it was down when he picked it up. Doesn't matter. They didn't see it, and it's 27-20. We'll be back with the kickoff next. This is Redskins football on KRMG.
Ransomware is software that can infiltrate your business through email, enabling cyber criminals to hijack sensitive well, information as ransom for your own. I'm sensing some unhappiness in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Security with advanced threat detection can stop is, a ransomware attack in its tracks. Be, as an added measure, like Barracuda Backup allows you to recover you your data back without back. having to surrender to extortion. Crime doesn't pay when you protect your business data with Barracuda. Go to barracuda.com slash ransomware to learn more. One size fits all has no place in your bedroom. Hi, I'm Christian von Rickenbach, founder of Helix Sleep, and we know one mattress can't work for everyone. That's why we created the only mattress built for you. Go to helixsleep.com, take our two-minute sleep quiz, and we'll build your custom mattress and ship it to you for free. Try for 100 nights, and if it's not the best sleep you've ever had, we'll pick it up and give you your money back. Go to helixsleep.com slash talk radio right now, and we'll give you $50 towards your custom mattress. That's helixsleep.com slash talk radio. This is the home of Union High School football. News 1023 KRMG. So the only score of the third period looks like it'll be a 97-yard fumble return by Kelvin Jones of Owasso for a touchdown, giving the Rams a 27-20 lead. And now Owasso has scored two defensive touchdowns tonight. Union defense has played pretty well, Zach, but those two touchdowns are tough. Yeah, it's tough to give up anything like that. And, and uh, this is that... The Rams would have to deal with them. We'll see how Union does. Christian Thompson wanted to kick this thing away. He's going to kick it very short. It bounces and is taken around the 15-yard line by Landon Wood, and he's going to go down around the 25-26 yard line. Pardon me, that wasn't actually Landon Wood. That is number nine out there. That is Jack Seastack, one of the receivers. So the Redskins had a terrific drive, had a pretty good third quarter, and looked like they're two yards away from taking their first lead when tragedy happens if you're a Redskins fan. Now, how do you bounce back? First and 10 for Union at their own 26-yard line. Well, they got to fight this Fury with Fur Fury. They, they've done a really good job this second half of moving the ball, so that can't stop. They can't give up there. Uh, and that's just an unfortunate event. They've got a couple bounces that went the other direction tonight, one on a – actually three. You know, three uh, – two interceptions in this fumble, and uh, they've all turned into points. Well, you know, in, in this situation, it was very clear on the Jumbotron, the player that picked the ball up and scored was had his knee was down. But the officials missed it. And yep, there's nothing, there's exactly nothing, right. And they're going to miss it in your way sometimes, too. You just have to come back and play. First and 10 Redskins at the 26-yard line. Kevion Cooper back at the running back slot. And they're going to bounce him to the left side. And he's going to go across the 25 to around the 27. Wayne Jones on the tackle. Not much. A couple of yards. Maybe three. We'll call it second down at eight, though, as the clock ticks away here in the third period. 20 seconds and counting. 27-20 now. Wasso up. Yeah, that's just uh, what they needed to do is to continue to move that ball. They're going to have to start putting more people in the box and come out of that zone or change up their defensive front somehow, and then that's what that's when you're going to strike and hit a big. I think Union's gonna, it's going to be pretty close to letting the clock run out here in the half or in this quarter, two, one. Yeah, he got it off. They're going to hand it off again to Kevion Cooper right side. Kevion's got a hole across the 35, across the 40. Kevion Cooper up to the 43-yard line. Now it's a good thing that thing did get handed off. Deuce Mayberry back out there and made the tackle, and that will end the third period. So at the end of three, a very unusual turn of attempt, a turn of events, pardon me, as the Redskins give up a 97-yard fumble return for a touchdown. They trail 27-20, but they'll have it when we come back. This is Redskins football on KRMG. Uh, hello. Hello again, sir. This is the police again, sir. Your neighbor claims a bird flew into your window and died a horrible birdie death, and he wants you thrown in jail. Are you near this alleged window? Uh, yes, I am. And do you see a dead bird? The kid anywhere? that returned the punt, the, the name is Seth uh, uh, No, gotcha, it looks you. more like Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln? Uh, yes, there's a little face and, uh, a uh, little discussion. stovepipe hat, and I'm pretty sure it's not a bird. I think I know what it is, sir. When a seal on a double-pane window is broken, you get strange images. I had the same problem, except Except my window looked more like a very old lady out there with a lid. Firing them up. Uh, how did you? Uh, we called Robinson Glass. They, they came out and fixed now. it, really and nice a couple night. of other broken windows, and some screens, and a storm door. They even fixed our sash balance. What's a sash balance? It's the counterweight that keeps windows from win. slamming you down on your fingers. You learn a lot of new words when your sash balance now goes on the fridge. Robinson even bigger too. is all you need to know about glass. Robinson Glass. Notice, no birds were harmed in the making of this commercial. Catch every moment of Union football on KRMG.com, the KRMG app, and News 1023 KRMG. We begin the fourth quarter at Union Tuttle Stadium, a battle of number one and number two, living up to every ounce of the hype. It is 27-20 Owasso as we begin the fourth. Rick Corey, 
Of course, Zach Jones, Doc Blevins, Richard and Jay Johns here with us. Redskins will have it first and 10 at their own 42-yard line. They've had two interceptions tonight, one of those returned for a touchdown, and the 97-yard return of a fumble for a touchdown. So this defense has only given up 13 of the 27 tonight. The rest of it is, has gone against the offense. Now that same offense trying to come out and put things back together. First and 10 at their own 42-yard line. Thompson brings them back up to the line of scrimmage. Wilson goes in motion. They'll hand off instead to Kevion Cooper. He's across the 45-yard line up to the 47, 48-yard line. Kevion got about seven. Wayne Jones brought him down, but I like what they're doing here. No panic yet. Yeah, no panic yet. And you're starting to see the motion go with A.K. Wilson on that jet sweep. And a lot of this is just kind of setting those things up and they watch in the, in the booth to see what they're doing on the defensive so shift. They'll take it to the 48 yard line. So we'll call it a gain of six. It'll be second and four. They need the 48 of Owasso for the first down. Rams continue in that zone defense and with six in the box. Kevion Cooper, the single setback. Thompson in the shotgun. Hands again to Kevion. He again busts through. And he's gonna pull forward to the 45. Carson Kropp might have saved the touchdown. Kevion tried to pull through. He got eight. It's going to be first and 10 now, just inside Owasso's 45. Oh, pardon me, just outside it at the 46, so he got more like six. But it are, it's a saving tackle right there by Crop as the Redskins starting to eat up yardage. I think you just keep going, doing what you're doing. Keep driving the ball. Two receivers left, one right. Once again, Thompson in the shotgun. Cooper to his right. Now at the 46 of Owasso. They fake the ball, and they're going to throw it deep. He's got C.J. Moore out there, and that ball is knocked down. Proctor, Josh Proctor back there playing that deep safety. And I think that ball might have had an opportunity to put a little bit more air under it, but he threw that thing a little short and Proctor knocked it down. Well, that was two Division I athletes going up against one another, and it would have been nice to see CJ come down with it, but it was a little bit underthrown, and uh, he went up to make a play, and unfortunately neither one of them came down with yeah, it. Yeah, he had two OSUs right there, Ohio State and Oklahoma State battling there. Second down and 10 now for the Redskins at the Owasso 46-yard line. Just underway, fourth period, 27-20 Rams. Three receivers, once again for Thompson in the shotgun. Now motioned by Harris. He's going to hand off to the right side. Kevion Cooper's got some room. Kevion, oh, he went to the inside, then back outside when he clearly should have got inside. Dawson Adams made the tackle. He'll get to the 40. That's a good gain of six, but, Zach, if he cuts that back, there's a lane. Yeah, there sure was. He set him up to the inside, but like if he would have just tucked it into the middle, there was a plenty of room for him to run up inside, and the one guy that could have made the play did. 30, third and five now for the Redskins at the 41 of Owasso. So if they get the 36, they'll have the line to gain. 10.30 to play in the game, 27-20 Rams lead. Quick motion left side, they throw it right side to C.J. Moore, and C.J. across the first down line to the 35. He got the first down clearly on the quick throw, and the Redskins will move to chains, and that is an extension of your run game. So I like that. Again, you make them get their eyes outside. Yeah, they, they tightened up this formation and threw the short side, and that's as, just as good as a toss. So a first and 10 Redskins now at the 35 of Owasso. Alverson to the near side, Moore and Wilson to the far side. And off again up the middle of Kevion Cooper, and he doesn't have a lot of space this time, maybe about two. Carson Kropp make his third 300th tackle of the night, it seems like. But again, that's a gain of a couple, and Owasso's got a player down. I think it is Kropp who has made so many tackles tonight, but I think it's just a cramp right now. They're looking at his left leg. The union training staff will quickly respond out there, and so will the Owasso. Yeah, they're just, they're just stretching that big left leg of his, so I think that's all that is is a cramp. Well, I like what they're doing offensively. It would be easy to get impatient and try to quickly tie the game, and they haven't done that. Yeah, and I thought, you know, when they went to that deep route, I thought maybe they were going to continue to run the ball, and they run a play action on it and throw a call backside. I haven't seen uh, Proctor really biting up on that run, so I don't know why they threw a backside because it was a called shot. Because but, it's C.J. Uh, Moore. That's why. <laughs> that's exactly why. And had that ball had air under it, he had gotten – I think clear enough he might have been able to make that catch, but it was a, but I don't a see, little bit short. I don't see Proctor really filling on that run game, so either throw away from him, but you throw backside kind of threw right to him. You know, Proctor, we haven't called his name hardly any in the run game, and I think what Bill Blankenship told him is you stay back here and catch people. Yes. You know, and, and that's, hey, look, there's nothing wrong with that's that. That's right. a smart that's play That's your now. safety being a safety. Moore was able to run by him once when he did come up, and I'm sure he, had, he got an earful of encouragement about not letting that happen again. I like how you say encouragement. I, I'm sure that's what they – Fanatical filled him, encouragement. Filled him with all kinds of positive vibes. Yes, fanatical encouragement. That's what we call that when your coach is standing there screaming at you and the, the spit hits you in the face and all that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, he had to walk her back down to the old sideline with his head hung low and think, man, I'm going to get it. 10-12 to play in this game. we got a barn burner, 27-20. Owasso leads. They've scored twice on defense, including the 97-yard fumble return at the end of the third period. But the Redskins now threatening. Second and eight. They're in Owasso's 30. 
three yard line. Two receivers left, the inside slot out there is Wilson. To the right is Kevion Cooper in the shotgun is Moore. Peyton Thompson hands off to Kevion, burst for it. Across the 30, Kevion across the 25. He's got another first down. <laughs> Tyler Moody with the tackle, but number 11 is finding holes that are hard to see from up here. And he's at full speed making cuts in there and setting people up like it's his job. It's amazing. And all this with Tanner Fort at center. The Redskins lost their starting center early in this game. Zoe Shannon with an ankle injury. First and 10, now just about the 24-yard line of Owasso. Thompson again in the shotgun. Straight back, fakes in. Now he's going to throw deep. Alverson's down there in the end zone, and that ball is overthrown, but there will be a flag there, and there was clearly contact and interference. Clearly there was interference right there, and the guy who was back there on the coverage was Elijah Washington, and he just grabbed Avery Alverson as number four ran by him. So that'll be another 10 in a first down. Well, I think I'll take that matchup all day. Washington's either a second or third string cornerback, and Alverson is our leading receiver in, in yardage. 18 yards a carry, a catch, I think, is what he's averaging coming out. Oh, 28 yards a carry, catch. So uh, I'd take that one all day. And Avery is bigger than you think. I was down there earlier with the receivers, and he's not quite CJ's height, but he he's is. close. So that's a mismatch over in the corner. So that's going to mark the ball all the way down. They're going to go point of foul. So that's going to take the ball all the way down to the nine. It's going to be first and goal. 9.42 to play in this game. Redskins trail by seven, but they are knocking at the door. First and goal at the Owasso nine. Alverson to the near side. Wilson and Moore to the far side. Kevion Cooper the setback. Thompson is the quarterback. It looks like we have a timeout. No, it's going to be an official's timeout. They're going to come in and maybe reset the ball. The Line judge will again give you the crew. Scott Metter is the referee. Greg Brown, the umpire. Michael Griffin is the head linesman. Jonathan Webster, the line judge, and Rick Smith is the back judge. And I think they're going to talk over. Is they're talking over ball placement? Yeah, they're going to back it up now and put it at the 12. Two yards. Well, three really because they went from the nine. You know that's good news for the Redskins. You can get a first down. So I'm okay with that. So we set again, same set, one receiver right, two receivers left. Again, Kevion Cooper is the setback. Thompson in the shotgun. Peyton has the snap, gives to Kevion, big hole, across the five, or across the ten, pardon me, down to the six-yard line. The guy hanging onto his ankle for dear life was Kellen Jones. Kellen Jones doesn't grab him, he's in the end zone. So that's good for at least six, and it'll be second down and four. Ball now at the six-yard line. These running backs are just e eating up information off one another. Kevin, Kevion Cooper once again is the slot. They're going to hand off to Kevion again. Jumps to his left, jumps back. Kevion Cooper down inside the two. I think he has the first down. Kevion Cooper in that offensive line just chewing up Owasso right now. First and goal, Redskins at the one. But remember, they were pretty close to here not long ago, and they fumbled. This is when those linebackers of the Rams have just been fired up. Hang it off again to Kevion Cooper, and he did not get in the end zone. He did not make it in the end zone. Tackle in there was Moody and Jones. Moody was the first guy there. It'll be second and goal from just inside the one. 8.44 to play in this game. 27-20 Union Trails. Lawrence Harris, the tight end, goes short slot left side. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Thompson hands again to Kevion Cooper, and he loses three yards. Owasso comes with the blitz. They brought everybody. Adams was there. Moody was there. And that's going to take it back outside the two. And now it's going to be third and goal. Well, they walked everybody up. They've pinched everything, and they're bringing all the backers. They're pinching inside. It's not a bad place to just throw a little pop pass or get it outside and just cruise on in. Not a bad place to run the, the jet sweep or yeah. something along those lines. you got to move them a little. Third down and goal now at the two-yard line of Owasso. Trailing by seven. Union trying to punch it in. Cooper the setback. They're going to hand off. No, they're going to fake to him. Throw to the right. Harris. Touchdown. No, that's not Harris. No, Lewis. that's the other tight end. That's Trace Lewis. They faked inside to Kevion Cooper, and everybody in a white jersey jumped on him, and Lewis is standing completely alone. Touchdown. Redskins were one point away from a tie. That's just a great drive all the way down the field, being methodical, running the ball, running the ball, and seeing exactly what they gave you at the line of scrimmage. And just what I said, run a play action. They're pinching and coming in hard and just toss it in, and that's the easy throw and catch. Huge extra point here for Noah Rauschenberg. He missed one tonight, had one blocked, and he also missed a field goal. The, the snap is way too high, and the kick is blocked. Horrible snap. Union has really struggled this year with the snap. 
Davis has saved him several times, but he couldn't there. So what has been a reliable battery is now suddenly not. And the Redskins still trail. 7.54 to play. Owasso 27, Union 26. This is Redskins football on KRMG. It goes beyond He's paint and sheet metal. Up and went the back skill, shoulder. precision, and pride everyone at Action Auto Collision yeah, takes in their work. Yeah, from helping an insurance to making your wrecked car not only look new, but drive new is nothing short of incredible. That's, that's Action what, Auto Collision is a proud sponsor of Union High School football. Hey, Action hang on. Auto hey, Doc. Collision, just south of 51st and Garnett. Doc. For exceptional service, call 918 252 0411. Action Auto Collision. Can you read a tape measure and turn a oh, screw? Doc. If so, you can yeah, install had custom to turn it back on. Uh, who is, who is 86? Blindster.com. And I'm so confident I'm sorry. you can do it yourself. Find out who 86 is. Who caught that touchdown pass? Okay. Backed by okay. a 60 day satisfaction but guarantee. I want to make sure. Our blinds uh, are handcrafted, ship free of charge, and delivered He's to your door in about two weeks. And price is starting at just $20. What's Visit up, Eric? Blindster.com today and save you, 30% on any order. Just enter code RADIO at checkout. Blindster.com. 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 Never miss a moment of Union High School football. Download the KRMG app now. Available for Apple and Android. An impressive drive by the Redskins. 14 plays, 74 yards. Took four and a half minutes. The two-yard catch for the touchdown. The extra point no good. And that's how we wind up at a 27-26 score. Union Redskins trail. Noah Rauschenberg approaches the football from left to right. Noah puts the big foot into it, and that one's going to go into the end zone once again, and the Urasso Rams will take it to their own 20-yard line. So the kicking game, which has been so reliable, Zach, tonight two extra points missed and what seemed to be a fairly easy field goal missed, and that alone has the Redskins trailing by one. Yeah, other than they say big players make big plays, also in big games, special teams come into making big games and big things happen. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I've <laughs> we always give my buddy Luke Phillips a hard time about kickers, but that's really not a, not any of his effect no, there. That's a, a, a back shoulder catch by the holder and a great hold. But, man, that's that's a long time to hold the ball and get it off. All right, so the Redskins defense has to come up big here. First and 10 for Owasso. Keeney brings him up. Once again, Cabrera, his single setback. Motion from right to left. Four receivers. They're going to turn and hand to Cabrera. Bounces out to the left. Bounces back to the right across the 25. Or right at the 25. Ryan and Wood and Spicer on the tackle. Good five, down, five yard first down run. It'll be second and five. Doc, who Jordan, caught that touchdown you're pass? You're not going to believe it. Jordan Kelly caught that touchdown pass. That was Jordan Kelly <laughs> lined up at tight end. They How about his that? number and put him in there for receiver. All right. Well, second and five for the Owasso Rams. Now thrown 25 yard line. Big drive for both teams. Back is Keeney. Straight back to throw. Looking, looking, running out of time. Being chased. Now he throws it into the ground. Keeney has done that several times tonight. That was Kenya Walker chasing him around back there. And it'll be a big that third down and five. So how about Jordan Kelly switching numbers I like and catching it. it huh? I like the sneaky little trick there of putting the big dude in there for some offense. I like it too. 7.22 to play in this football game. Redskins trail 27-26 and a huge third down play. Owasso at their own 25-yard line with third and five. Cabrera the setback. The man under center is Will Keeney. Now he moves into the shotgun. Four wide receivers. He shows press coverage and blitz. Keeney back, throws quickly left side, caught by Sisson. He breaks the tackle and he has the first down. Sisson got popped at the end by Patrick Fields. Raper had a hold of him when he went down. But that's good for nine and a first down. And Owasso moves the chains and keeps the football. Well, that was a big play there. They came up with a great pressure on the defensive side. And uh, Sisson gets his hands on it in, in traffic and uh, makes a couple extra yards after the catch, but what a big catch that was. First and 10 for Owasso, now at their 34. Time of factor, 7-16 to play, 27-26, Rams are up. Keeney in the shotgun. He's going to hand to Cabrera right side, and Cabrera bounces past one man, but he's going to lose a yard. The first guy there was Darius Murdoch. He turned him back into everybody else. Spicer was there, Kenya Walker was there. They may give him a half yard, actually, and say it's at the 35-yard line, so it'll be second and just over nine. Well, they're continuing to go to that run game. And, uh, you know, we saw in the first half they, they tried the run game and it worked decently enough to keep open the, the passing game. But Second and 10 now for the Owasso Rams. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. The guy to the left is Sisson. He's the dangerous one. Now Cabrera in motion to the right. Back is Keeney. Here comes pressure. He's going to fire to the right side to Cabrera, and he's going to be taken down right away. Great open field tackle by Elijah Tomlin. So another big third down coming up. So these two teams are battling each, each series to big third downs. Now third and six. Ball at the 39-yard line. Actually, we're going to call it third and five. They're at the 39. They need the 44. 
6.22 to play. Owasso 27, Union 26. Last time they lined up tight like this, they did the play action throw. Three receivers to the left, Cabrera to the right. And now somebody moved, and I don't know if it was Union or Owasso. A lot of white shirts going backwards. I think it's going to be against Owasso. Owasso. It is against Owasso. So that'll move it back. But believe me, they are capable of getting 11 yards on third down. That'll move the ball back to the 34-yard line. So it's really going to be third and 10. They need the 44 for the first down. Keeney has not been sacked. Well, he's been sacked once. That's right. He's been pressured a few times, but not a lot. Union needs to come after him here. 6-12 to play, 27-26 Rams. Four receivers, two to either side. Cabrera the set back to the left. Keeney straight back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Keeney throws the screen. Cabrera has it. He's taken down. A brilliant tackle by Braden Spicer. Out in the open was Cabrera, and he has been hard to stop, and Braden Spicer makes maybe the play of the night. It's fourth and four. Now, Union cannot jump off sides or commit a penalty. The ball's at the 39. Actually, it'll be fourth and five. Back to kick it away is Alex Height, and the man back to return again is Landon Wood, standing at the 35-yard line. 541 and counting, and a one-point game rams up. There's the snap. There's the kick, and Landon's going to have a chance to return this one. Wood heads to the left, and he got smacked pretty quickly. That's a really good play right there by Owasso Special Teams. The guy coming down to make the play was Kawan Hay. So here's where we sit. 27-26, Owasso leads the game. Union, with one timeout left, just one, takes the ball with 5.28 to play. They have first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. Now, you got to think of a lot of things here. First of all, with one timeout, if this is a Waste that. You need it to set a field goal if you need that as time expires. There's a lot of stuff happening. Here. It really puts a lot of chess pieces in play, whether you're going to drive down and score, uh, how much time you want to eat off the cock because you don't have any ways to stop more than one timeout. So it, you got to really, really play into this one difficult. Kevion Cooper will be the setback again. We need Doc Levins to check on Darius Boone. He's not been back since that big hit. First and 10 Redskins at their 33. They hand off to Boone. He's going to go, or pardon me, Kevion. Kevion Cooper continues to push. He's to the 40-yard line. Kevion Cooper on a seven-yard run, just leaving Owasso Rams in his wake behind him. Wayne Jones made the final tackle. Quickly to the line of scrimmage, the Redskins. Second and three from their own 40. C.J. Moore trying to get the call right now. Peyton Thompson in a hurry with Cooper to his left. Snap, hand to Cooper again. Kevion's got room, 45, 50. Kevion Cooper just can't break the final tackle. Dawson Adams knocked him down at the 45-yard line. If number 11 gets past that, he's gone. He's got a one, one man to beat, and he's doing a great job of just continuing to pick up yards and create. First and 10 Redskins now at the Owasso 45. 4.55 to play, Union down one. Snap, they're going to hand again to Kevion Cooper, and he's going to push forward to about the, well, he's got about two. Wayne Jones there. They're going to put him in around the 43-yard line. It'll be second down and eight, but the Redskins have been here before as they continue to tenderize this stake. And Owasso defensive line is tired. A lot of hands on hips out there. And how about this? You've got about four and a half minutes where you could eat up a lot of the yards and the field position, but would you go down and kick? Second and eight for the Redskins. Now at the 43 of Owasso. Wilson in motion. They're going to hand to Wilson. It's a reverse, but it's dropped. C.J. Moore dropped the football, and he was nonchalant about trying to get on it. I think he got back, but C.J. turned and really wasn't in a hurry to get on the ball, and Owasso nearly, nearly got on that. If he catches that cleanly, there's no one out here on this reverse. They were set to throw another pass is why I think he took a little ease on that catch. But we saw that last week, and it worked really well. And it was set up to throw a double pass downfield to Avery. But, uh, yeah, he took his time, his sweet little time jumping on that. And thought he almost lost it. Third and 15 for the Redskins now. They're at midfield. They need the 35 of Owasso, and they have no time. This is important. 3.46 to play in this game. 27-26 Owasso and the Redskins. Now we're going to either have to call timeout or hurry. Only nine on the play clock on this hugely important play. To the line of scrimmage quickly. Two receivers right side. Back is Peyton. Peyton Thompson rolls. He's going to throw to the right to Kevion Cooper. He's got some space. 50, 40, Kevion across the first down marker to the 30 to the 28-yard line. Kiwan K made the tackle. But Kevion Cooper saves the Redskins bacon. He goes 20. A nice play by Thompson, a great play by Kevion, and the chains are still moving. The huge block downfield, 15, 20 yards by A.K. Wilson. First and 10 Union. Now at the 29-yard line of Owasso, 3.22 to play in this game. Thompson ready to take the snap. Does, it's low, but he comes back up. 
Peyton rolls to his right, fires downfield, wide open is Alverson, touchdown! Avery Alverson, touchdown! Peyton Thompson rolled to his right, bought the time. Wilson, or pardon me, Avery saw that, got in behind Dawson Adams and just went up over the top for the score. 32-27 for the first time tonight, Union leads. Well, I tell you, what a better, what not a better time to take the lead with three minutes left in the game. And I want to tell you what happened there. They had blitz up linebacker right up in the middle, and the guy that's done such an amazing job tonight, Kevion Cooper stoned him at the line of scrimmage. It, it created the time to throw that ball. They're going to go for two here, and it makes sense. The one point would not do you any good, so the Redskins are going to go for two. They're going to get the offense back out there. 3-12 to play, 32-27 now Union. And the only problem, Zach, is you might have scored too soon. Well, that's what I was saying. You only have one touchdown in three minutes. But so far they've been running the ball really well on the opposite side. But we haven't seen them throw it when they had to. So that causes a couple things, but they're going to have to throw it. So if it's incomplete, you've got a stoppage of time. So that might be a benefit to Union. Here we go. Four receivers, two to either side. Kevion Cooper, the setback. Peyton Thompson is in the shotgun. Kevion to his right. Teams are set. Back to throw is Thompson, looking, looking, firing middle of the field, and it is caught! The two-point conversion is good! That went to A.K. Wilson, and it's 34-27. The Redskins, in a remarkable drive, give themselves a one-touchdown advantage. 3.07 to play in this game, and it's not over yet. Come back for the final in just a minute. This is Redskins football on KRMG. Cecil and Sons, discount tires, they everything around for a just right ride. You want to rock down the road and roll with the best, so best game I've seen in a long time. I'll tell you what, and it's putting the pressure on teams right at the right time. Yeah. Right too. Want to read your honor, just music? Uh, you could probably be true. Every yes, sir. What a great catch on that. Both of them. At the line for the touchdown, and then AK making a catch. Avery had to wait on that ball. Avery had to wait on that ball. Avery had to wait on that ball. Fluid flushes and mechanical repairs. For over 40 years, folks in Green Country have been choosing Cecil & Sons discount tires for their tires, maintenance services, and mechanical repair needs. To all of them, we want to say thank you for your trust and for your business. Now, we've grown to three locations to serve you. Our two in Sand Springs, plus our newest location at 100 South Main in Sepulpa. Why not come on down yourself to any of our three locations and see why so many second, third, and even fourth generation customers keep choosing Cecil & Sons discount tires for their automotive care needs. We're a solid part of your community. It's a big, proud piece of our history. Cecil & Sons, discount tires, everything around for a just right ride. Shout outs to your favorite player on the open mic on the KRMG app right now. And Rick Corey might even play it on the air. News 1023 KRMG. <laughs> Noah Rauschenberg at the kickoff go out the back of the end zone. So we are set with 3.07 to play in this game. Owasso now trailing Union 34-27. The touchdown drive, six plays, 67 yards. It took two minutes and 18 seconds. Alverson's 30-yard catch from Thompson. And, of course, the extra point to two-point conversion gives Union the one touchdown lead. Rick Corey, Zach Jones, Doc Blevins, Richard J. Johns. Doc Blevins down on the field, what do you got? Well, the best I can get on uh, Mr. Boone is that he was shook up and not uh, 100% a while ago. They don't know if he'll be back in. All right, Keeney takes the snap, and he's going to run forward across the 25-yard, or across the 20, pardon me, around the 22, 23-yard line. So that'll be a gain of about three. Cade Brown on the tackle, and it'll be second down and seven, and the Rams don't have a lot of time. 254, they do have all three timeouts left, though. Yeah, they've got plenty of time. They don't have to rush yet. Two-minute drill, you can usually drive down and score. So they're not really rushing around. They've got to stay calm. But defense here really has to step up and just stay, stay secure, keep everything in front. But Owasso hasn't scored an offensive touchdown for quite a while. It's they been defensive defense on touchdowns, the right, that <laughs> has actually done some stuff. So they are holding up the game for some reason. I'm not sure why. And the clock has stopped as well. I think it was an equipment thing for an Owasso player. So it'll be second down. Right, wait a minute. They called off the play. They're calling it first down again. All well, right, they so got second on the scoreboard, first, first on the sticks. First and 10. Back as Keeney throws left side. Sisson makes the catch, but he's dragged down right away. Brilliant play right there by JT McLeod. Yeah, he got up and ran like he was trying to go somewhere, and he got tackled again by Elijah Tomlin, but the line judge clearly has him down back at the 22-yard line. So that's a gain of two. And they, some, for some reason, Owasso ran a play, and the officials just called the play off. Interesting. Free play. It, and he, uh, he never started the clock, I guess, so it wasn't really a play. So now it's second down and seven with the ball around the 23. Keeney in the shotgun once again. Keeney straight back to pass. He's got pressure. He's going to fire right side, and that ball is caught at the 40-yard line and across the 40. That's Dylan Chin. 
He'll be taken down right there. We'll mark him right at the 40. It'll be first and 10 there. A minute 58 to go. Landon Wood on the tackle. Nice out route there by Chin. That's about the second time we've called his name tonight. He had plenty of room and space to make that catch. The guy you want to watch is Tyree Sisson, number 80. He's to the far side. He's that way. Chin comes to the near side with him, Devin Tyler. Once again, Cabrera, the single setback. First and 10, now Owasso at their own 40, trailing by seven. They throw it to the right side, and that ball is caught, pardon me, to the left side. Ball caught by Thompson. He got maybe about four. They'll go to the 44-yard line. Patrick Fields brought him down, second and six. We're now at 134 and counting, and Owasso trailing by seven. Great, great call there by uh, the safety saying, hey, stay outside, Cameron. They're throwing to the outside, and he did just that to keep him inside. Yeah, Cameron Watts has got some single coverage out there. Second down and six for, the, for Owasso. Keeney quickly throws left side, and that's behind Sisson, incomplete. But you know what? That's not bad because what Owasso really wanted was to stop the clock. That was either going to be a completion and step out of bounds or stop the clock. They got what they wanted. So a minute 19 to go. Redskins up 34-27 and a big third and six for Owasso. They're at their own 44-yard line. They need midfield. And now there's a lot of pressure because you've got over half the field to go and a minute to get there. Keeney quickly in the line of scrimmage with four receivers, two to either side. Cabrera to his right. Keeney with the snap. Here comes Jordan Kelly. Throws this inside little screen to Cabrera and he's going to be taken down just short of the first down. No, he got no, it. No, he, he pushed across it. Look, Cabrini, or Cabrera looked like he was going to be down. Spicer and McLeod had him, but he pushed forward and just got the first down. So a minute seven to play, and the ball's going to be at the Union 49-yard line. And Owasso will have first down, and they'll call timeout. We're going to keep it here, though. I'll because tell you what, we don't want him to come back and just run a play. Cabrera picked up five or six yards after the time of contact, and really gave them a fighting chance and got the first down. That was a really good call. Jordan Kelly looked like he was going to come clear, and that was, of course, planned that way on the screen. So with a minute Come seven to, to go, knowing you need the touchdown, you've got to cover half the field. you still got two timeouts or one timeout. No reason to panic for them either. No, no. they got plenty of time, but you just need to keep everything in front of them if you're union. Down to the field, Doc Levins. Doc? Oh, I just wanted to know. I talked to Coach Dunlap, uh, Athletic Director Dunlap, and we do have a crowd in excess of 13,000 tonight. Outstanding. That's uh, got to be pretty close to a I – mean, it's obviously standing room only, but it's got to be pretty close to a record. Yeah, that's uh, – and for what you said coming into this game, first time we've seen this, the crowd completely full like this in a long time. So first and ten for the Rams. They trail 34-27, a minute seven to go. They're at the 49 of Union. Keeney straight back to throw. Looks, 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 fires left side, and that ball is caught at the 38-yard line, then dropped. Thompson had it and dropped it, and the reason was J.T. McLeod. J.T. popped him as soon as the ball got there, so it'll be second and 10 with 59 seconds to go. Ball to 49 of Union. Well, this is that super nickel package where they've got every speed speed, speed receiver talent on the field. This is C.J. Watts is in the or C.J. Moore is in the backfield. Kevion Cooper is rushing, and the only big guy they've got is number nine. Uh, Kenya uh, Walker. Kenya Walker pushing up in the middle. You know, and sometimes that pays off for you, and sometimes it doesn't. We'll find out. Uh, Wasso does not have Proctor on the field. Four receivers for the Rams. Cabrera the setback. Second down and 10 from the 49 of Union. Owasso down by seven with a minute to go. Straight back as Keeney. Now rolls to his right. Now fires the ball deep downfield to his right, and that's going to be incomplete. A lot of jostling there, but there's no call. Thompson was the guy he was trying to go to. Union had him bracketed inside out. So it'll be third down and 10 now with 52 seconds left. Yeah, sometimes you get a little nervous seeing that hand battle go down the sideline. I don't want to get that personal foul. And then on this side, they run a crossover here and actually ran an illegal pick, but didn't get called, and they throw to the opposite side anyway. Kenya Walker comes off the field. Here George comes Kelly Proctor. comes back on. Now Proctor comes into the game. So they'll take out Devin Tyler, and Proctor will come in, and you better have eyes on number three. Third and 10, Owasso, Union's 49-yard line. Under a minute to go, Rams down by seven. Back is Keeney. He's got pressure. Keeney gets away, rolls to his left. Now he's going to fire it downfield for Cabrera. Makes the catch at the 30. He'll be taken down around the 15, 13-yard line. Well, Proctor, or pardon me, it was Jordan Kelly, I think, who had a hold of Keeney back around the 50. Trey Thompson eventually made the tackle, but Jordan Kelly just could not quite hold on. That's a great play by Keeney and by... Of course, Cabrera. Yeah, Keeney kept his feet and uh, kept fighting. First and 10 for Owasso, now at the 14 of Union. Rams down by seven. Rolling to his right is Keeney. Throws to his right, caught out there by, and then out of bounds <laughs> around the five yard line is Thompson. 
He got down to the three, 23 seconds to go, 34-27 Union, and the Rams have first and goal at the three. Well, Thompson there fumbles the ball and it goes out of bounds. I, I couldn't see from this angle if it went out in the end zone or not, uh, which would be a touchback. So um, that's a big, big play there and a great saving tackle by Kate, uh, Watts to save the touchdown over there on the side. All right, so here we go. Union up by seven, 34-27. It is first and goal Owasso at the Union three. 23 seconds to go, one timeout left for the Rams. Keeney in the shotgun, Proctor lined up to the left. Now Proctor goes in motion. Keeney back, firing middle of field, and it is incomplete. It is off the hands once again of Thompson, and it'll be second and goal with 19 seconds to go. They ran Proctor on that little motion, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him for doing that because that's going to get a lot of attention. Yeah, that's going to attract all the attention is what it does, and then they kind of throw that uh, quick spot pass to the middle uh, right, right behind him. All right, Proctor will come to the left side. The other guy out here will be Dylan Chin. Two receivers to the right as well. Keeney in the shotgun again. Cabrera, who's been just tough as nails to his left. Second down and goal. Keeney straight back. Keeney has pressure. Now Keeney's going to run. He throws it to the end zone. Caught touchdown. Keeney was able to get out of there and get the ball to Tyree Sisson. And with 13 seconds to go, we are one point away from a tie game. What? Now the question is, will they try to tie it? That's a great play again by Kitty to keep his feet and be smart. And I don't know how Sisson got that thing in the end zone without losing it. But what a what a catch. So the Owasso Rams will come out once again with their kicker, and that is going to be that's going to be Cooper. No, it's William Feltz. William Feltz is ready for the extra point. There's the snap. There's the kick, and it's good, and we're tied. 13 seconds left, and we are tied at 34. That, you talk about guts drives for the Owasso Rams. That was well coached, it was well played, and Keeney saved their bacon twice. I tell you what, they hadn't made a drive, like you said, since the first period, and they drove all the way down the field, probably 65 yards in a minute and 13 seconds to put it in, so they come up to the tie game with 13 seconds left, and that was a guts drive, and I tell you what, they're here to play. They are, but well, both teams are. This has been everything that you would want and everything that you would expect that it would be. It's been an outstanding football game, excluding the first period. Uh, since that point in time, we've had some good football the rest of the night. Well, if you consider that uh, the Redskins gave up two touchdowns defense, or Wasso scored two on defense, including what shouldn't have been a touchdown after the fumble recovery, then you missed a field goal and two extra points. I mean, you still have the lead this at this yeah, time. Yeah, you I mean, spot them three. Ifs and buts, right? But, I mean, that's what you think about. That's exactly right. And, and really, we talked about dealing with some adversity. Um, you know, it's been the, the Redskins tonight that really had to deal with more adversity than the Rams. And at this point, they've got a one, uh, it'll look like they're going to have one more period uh, to play. So the series. teams will line up and Owasso will kick this thing off. I, you know, if I were Owasso, I'd onside kick it or something right here, maybe. He's certainly probably just going to pop it up in the air. They'll approach it from right to left. And it is popped almost straight up in the air. And Union will have to just get a good clean catch on this thing. And they dropped it and then picked it up again. So the Redskins have it at about the 31-yard line, and there'll be about 11 seconds to go. But that's all you can hope for if you're the Rams. They fumble that thing and put you in field goal range right away. Well, and obviously the important thing for the Redskins in a situation like that is you just need to catch the football. Simple. Yeah, you can even call a fair catch. You just need to grab it is all, right? right. But they kick it right in the place where you've got one guy coming back and one guy coming forward. It's like a center fielder and, and the second baseman not communicating. So the Union will have it for at least one play at their own 31-yard line. And, you know, you don't worry so much about You can say to yourself, well, you don't have anything to lose. If you throw it deep and it's intercepted, well, you do. Because with players scattered everywhere, the return becomes a real issue. That's right. Well, this is going to be a guts play here. A couple things you need to do for sure, which is secure the football. And then, you know, secondly, is we're going to maybe go for one shot to the end zone. I would say maybe not. It would just kind of run the ball out and take it to the OT. That's exactly what I think they might do, but we'll see. Peyton Thompson has him in the shotgun. And I think uh, I think will also use their last time out. Well, we've got just a couple seconds here why they call the timeout to find out what they think they're going to do. I really would think that, uh, you know, you've got 11 seconds on the field. You've been doing a really good job on the field running the ball. I think you put it in Kenya's hands and let him see if he can uh, bust one loose and if not, take it. 
Well, of course, if they do not, we will end this game tied, and we will say that, of course, 48 minutes wasn't enough to, to find a winner. And, you know, I have a hard time deciding who's got the momentum going in. Union had such a high, then Owasso gets the high right at the very end after Union really dominated the, the, third, the fourth quarter for the most part, other than the one, you know, the second half, really, other than the one fumble return. I would suspect still the Union has the momentum going into it. You know, when they picked up that first down, uh, and, and all the yardage there, it was against the, the super dime coverage or whatever you know package they had in there. It's not like the defense was in there on that game. So that was a 10-play, 80-yard, 2-minute and 47-second guts drive by the Rams. All right, first and 10 for the Redskins at their 31. They will just hand it off to Kevion Cooper, and he'll be taken down around the 37-yard line, and that will run the clock out. And we'll let this thing continue to go, and we will be at 34-34 with all zeros on the clock. So we're going to play a little bit extra. And that's exactly what all these fans here are fine with. And there wasn't a human sitting down for the last three minutes of the regulation of this football game. Well, they came here tonight to watch good football. And uh, there was a lot of hype coming in as how it was going to end up. And I don't think we expected a whole lot less than what we've got tonight. So the officials will meet and the two teams will. And we'll take a break. Redskins, 34. Owasso, 34. Let's play some extra time. This is Union Football on KRMG. First Oklahoma is a bank started by Oklahomans for Oklahomans and their promise to make your money grow faster by giving you the best so, CD rates in the market. First Oklahoma CD you know campaign is on right now, rules? beating the average CD rates no. in Tulsa's Either eight why, largest banks up. by more than 400% on a 12-month CD. For a limited time, First Oklahoma is paying 1.55% APY on a 12-month CD. That's 1.55% on a 12-month CD. Rules? And on a 24-month CD, First yeah, Oklahoma is paying 1.75% percent APY. You That's start at the 10 yard line and try to score and after the third you can see the rates in third time if it's still tied then you got to go for two. That's the college rules. Is that the college high school rule too? Leave that to I like the college rules. I use those in tech. They start at 25 in college. That's 392 So both teams get a shot a shot at the 10. Yeah. Yeah it's the same as that. Both teams get a shot. If one of them had to get it. GMC Studios. I have a little interest in KRMG Tulsa. Sidelight on this game if we have time for this stuff quick. High School Football News 1023 KRMG. So we're at the end of regulation. Union and Owasso tied at 34 apiece. The captains are back on the field for a coin toss. We'll get down to Doc Blevins here in a second. Now, in college football, they would put the ball at the 25-yard line, and you would uh, you would switch off opportunities to score. And, you know, after the third time, you would have to actually go for two, that kind of thing. So it looks like Owasso has won the toss, and you definitely want to play defense first when it comes to overtime, always. I would agree, especially with the defense that's been in the game. I think if you're, if you're the Redskins, you want your defense on the field uh, just to set the, uh, set the tone. Owasso right, so won. They won the boss, and Union will then go on offense first. It looks like we're going to go down to the UMAC side. So to set this up, Owasso drives 80 yards in 10 plays to end the game, scores with seconds to go, and they get the extra point to tie this at 34 apiece. So now we will go down to the end where the UMAC sits. That's the south end of this stadium, and that's where Union will go on offense. The ball will be placed down at the 10-yard line. The Redskins will have four downs to score either touchdown or field goal. And after that, Owasso will have a chance to match that. The teams will go back and forth that way until the third overtime, at which point you'd have to go for two. Now the team that scores then goes back on offense immediately. You go back and forth that way. So we are set to go, and both teams have great momentum. But here's the question, and this is interesting. Who has the advantage 10 yards and in? Because that's a really different game than in the field. I think if they do it right, first down, they squeeze TJ, CJ Moore into the outside. Uh, don't put him all the way to the hash, and you appear to maybe throw a slant pass, run him to the corner, you got it every single time. We'll see. Here goes first and 10 for the Redskins, first and goal at the 10-yard at the line. Moore will be lined up left. That's also A.K. Wilson there. Avery Alverson to the right. Thompson picks it up off the ground, gives it to Kevion Cooper. Kevion is going to be taken down at the 9. That Dawson Adams there on the tackle. It'll be second and goal from the 9. And, you know, Owasso was just getting chewed up by the run, but when you compact the field, that takes part of that away, and that's where Union had such great advantage. Well, and if they've run that same play so many times this evening, Dawson sees that and comes straight downhill and blitzes right into that thing. 
Second and goal from the nine now for the Redskins. We are in overtime. Union and Owasso tied at 34. Three receivers to the right, diamond pattern there. Kevion Cooper stays in at the tailback spot. He'll be to the left of Thompson. Peyton Thompson now sends Wilson in motion. Fakes to him, looks. Now he's gonna have to hurry to throw, and he's gonna fumble. He fumbled the ball out of bounds. Oh my. Jones got there, but no one recovered it. So thankfully for Union, that will stay with the Redskins. And Peyton Thompson has got to learn to put the football away. Well, and that's that Jones coming off the backside on the blitz. And man, has he got some speed. He closed the gap and, and w wisely enough made the tackle with the hands around Peyton and knocked it out of his hands. Now third and goal from the 16 for the Redskins. Rams in a deep zone. Proctor and, and Dawson Adams are back on the goal line. Two receivers right, one left. They're trying as best they can to isolate C.J. Moore, but now Proctor has snuck over there. Thompson in the shotgun. Straight back. Here comes the pressure. Peyton fires middle of the field. It is caught. Touchdown! A.K. Wilson! Everybody was paying so much attention to 35 that they all forgot number eight. He ran a skinny post right between where those deep safeties were, and that's a smart play because Proctor is cheating so much over to C.J. Moore that Zach E. vacated the whole area. Yeah, it sure did, and it looked like he was going to run an out, so I don't know if what we used to call that thing. It was the Kaz route, or the Miss Allner used to run it the best. He ran an out route and set up everybody looking outside, and he went right back to the middle, and everything was wide open on that post. That's just a good old simple post. Now an important extra point here from Rauschenberg. Need a good snap. There it is. Good hold. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So the Redskins score, and now Owasso will have an opportunity as well. We'll take a break. This is Union Football and KRMG. Hi, this is State Farm Agent Matt McCord. As many of you know, I have... Rejoin or not? Career. No. And now I'm on a winning team at State Farm Insurance. For the first 50 Holy listeners, cow. you stop by my office Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5.30, and let us give you a free quote. We will give you a free $10 gift Cabrera's card to Texas be hard Roadhouse. To stop the it's literally that easy. Oh, Call yeah. today and ask me about getting your free Texas Roadhouse gift card at 918-615-6634. You know they're going to put Proctor in the game, so that creates by our some extra emotion outside. You know, the attraction. Oh, hi, $100 bonus. So right now, when you open a new checking account with TTCU in. Federal Credit Union, you get a $100 Chip. bonus. You can open your account online, fast and easy. And when you use your school pride debit card, we donate to schools. TTCU, life is better in balance. With approved credit, annual percentage yield for dividend bearing accounts is 0.20% as of 7117. Checking account must be opened by 10. Five seconds. Those requirements must be met within 60 business days of account opening. Set restricted supply. Federally insured by NCUA. On first down, Owasso throws to Proctor. Josh Proctor coming right to left across the middle. He gets down all the way to the two-yard line. So it'll be second and goal from the two for Owasso. Union scored on their drive. It's now 41-34, and Owasso now knocking at the door already after the first play. They'll have second and goal from the two. That's a big play there. Slow to develop, but they were needing it to draw out. They let Proctor come all the way across the formation. Keeney will once again have Corbrera to his left. Keeney. Has the snap, now he's gonna run straight forward. Keeney's into the end zone, that was easy. Rams score easily in two plays and now they have to get the extra point. Well, kicks haven't always been a guarantee ever and tonight they've been a little bit yeah. leery on the Especially union, for side. union So we'll see how this kick goes. So they will once again bring out, let's see, they're gonna go with the different kicker again. They're going with William Feltz. It's the third or fourth kicker of the evening. The Owasso coaches want a timeout, Snap and the it. official just now <laughs> sees it. Union had something set up, and Bill Blankenship is not happy with the officiating crew for not looking. They did call the timeout, though, as Union was trying to set something up. William Feltz, the kicker, will try to knock this through to tie it again. And the emotions of this game. They only had 10 on the field. Down. My goodness. Kicking team only had 10 on the field. Right, let's go down to Doc Levins, who had, us, uh, had a little side note. Go ahead, Doc. Well, uh, when Dr. Clark Ogilvy got hired as superintendent at Owasso, I can't remember how many years ago that that year, I uh, interviewed him at halftime, and he had done all of his growing up as a superintendent and all that at Union, and he said he was hired to do at, Un at Owasso what they've done at Union, and I have to look at this tonight and say, you know, he might have been fairly successful in that. Well, I tell you this, it has been a terrific football game in every way that you could say it was a terrific football game. And it, the only thing here, and this is going to sound really cliche, but I hate that either one of these teams have to lose because whoever loses this one, it's going to be a long Saturday. 
Yeah, sure will. And you know what's probably the most optimistic thing you could say at this point is uh, they've both come into this game uh, it, it, with no losses, and it's an early point of the season, and uh, we'll meet again, I'm, I'm almost certain of it. So we're on for the extra point. Once again, the kicker is Feltz. There's the snap, there's the hole, the kick is up, and it's good, so we're tied again. 41-41, we'll play another overtime period. The Redskins will go back on offense at the 10-yard line, and you know the emotion is eventually going to get to somebody. But i got to tell you this, Zach, we talked about whether or not teams can handle the emotion, and Owasso's a team that in the past has at times struggled with that. Not tonight. They have hung in there in every way. They have really hung in there and fought hard. And, uh, you know, we talked maybe about how, they're, how they would deal with the emotion, maybe a little adversity, and I don't think uh, that we've seen them hang their heads one time. Not they kept all, fighting no. the entire evening. No, they have, yeah, they have been terrific. So now for the Redskins, how do you handle it right here? I you, think you've got to take the momentum and feel confident. Like, they came into this game, and I think uh, Doc has told us several times that they want to be that team that says, wow, you know, this is the team. Uh, you've got to go into this knowing that you've got the confidence to score no matter what. Well, of course, now this time, Owasso will go right back on offense. That's the way it works in these overtime periods. They'll go right back on offense, and Union will go play some defense here again. Owasso made it look very easy on that first drive with just two plays into the end zone. And, of course, we'll bring out all their stars once again. At this point, I don't see Proctor out there, so they're going to rest him. First down and goal for Owasso. Four wide, two to either side. Cabrera shifts to the right of Keeney. Union is set. Short zone defense. Keeney has the snap, throws quickly to the left side, and that ball is incomplete. He bounced it out there. He's trying to get it to Sisson, and it bounced in at his feet, so it'll be second down and goal from right there. Yeah, he stepped to throw into that and pump faked. I don't know why he pump faked the first time. He should have thrown when he had the motion before, the, before Sisson made the break, but he pump faked it, threw it into the dirt, and uh, we'll have to set up for second and 10. So it is second and goal for the Rams. 41-41 all. We are in overtime at Union Tuttle. Number one and number two, both unbeaten, but someone leaves with a mark on the right side of the record tonight. Now Proctor back in the game in the right side slot. Motion by Owasso. They're going to take that ball straight up the middle by, by Keeney, and he didn't get much. He got maybe to the nine, and the Redskins knock him down there. It'll be third and goal. I don't like the play call. You've got all the athletes on the field that you want. Like you said earlier, if you got everybody on the field and they're running out and it's empty, you may have an opportunity to run your quarterback up in there because there's one more blocker, but not Ra a big fan. Raper and Kelly made the tackle. Third and goal from the nine for Owasso. Proctor slot right side. Another guy on the slot on the right side, Devin Tyler, the outside guy. Pardon me, that's actually Chin, right side. In the shotgun once again is Keeney, straight back. Here comes the pressure. Keeney throws left side. That ball is caught, but it's at the two-yard line. That was Tyree Sisson. They actually may mark him at the one, and there's an Owasso player down. An Owasso player down in the end zone. And I mean, he is down. He is struggling. It's away from the play, too. Yeah, well away from the play. It's number six, I believe. They're going to mark. Yeah, so that is Thompson, who has been very big in this game tonight. The ball is at the one, and now Bill Blankenship has a decision. At the one, do you go for it here, or do you kick the three? I think, I think you've got to go for it, but as a, as a guy, you say you take points. It's just tough to be first, because in the first no, position, me. you've got to have something. Let's go down to Doc Blevins. Doc? Well, I've been around Bill a long time, 14 years as he was our coach, and he's always been a little bit of a riverboat gambler. I don't see him, uh, I don't see him going for the field goal here. You know, I, I, I'd agree, uh, but it, when you start talking about percentages, of course, the kicking game hasn't been well, percentages tonight. Good. And things have gone so well down here offensively, you know, I could easily see Cabrera, who's hard to tackle, or I, again, you just you fake the Cabrera and you let, you know, you let Keeney run it because yeah. he's the unaccounted for guy. And then, but all, right. all it takes is one big stop, and suddenly you're one yeah, play your, away your from Your mo losing. turns into gigantic mo for sure. All right, this ball is this is at the one, and it's it looks to me like they've marked it right at the one, so it's not inside the one; it's a full one. And, I, you know, Sisson's a great receiver, and I can't take anything away from him doing that, but he runs a deep out route to the corner. It's called a pylon right, right? You run right up to the deal, hard left, and hit a pylon and catch the ball in the end zone. He runs a hard left and then falls out of the end zone and yeah. makes that catch. So they do have – yeah, it looked like maybe that was some, maybe a cramp or something there on Thompson. Yeah, he's up. 
Back down the dock. We'll have it the looked dock. to me what they were doing. He had just gotten the wind knocked out of him pretty bad, and they were helping him overcome that. Gotcha. He's limping just a little bit as he goes off the field. All right, so here we are. Set it up. It's 41-41. It is fourth and goal for Owasso in their second overtime period. They're at the one of Union. And that ball, again, is set right at the one. So the Rams are going to come back out in their offensive set. Crocker will be short slot right side. Cabrera to the left. Keeney is the man in the shotgun. Crocker, the ball is fumbled. The ball is fumbled. Keeney picks it up, but he's going to be stopped. Keeney fumbled the snap. I think he was trying to fake inside to Proctor. He fumbled the snap, and for the first time tonight, the ball bounces against the Owasso Rams, and they come up scoreless. Well, I'll tell you what, that's just one of those things that the motions is coming to buy, and the, the pressure gets to you. Back down the Doc Blevins, Doc. Hey, I just wonder, do you go with Noah and go ahead and get your three points and win, or do you try to try to score? I don't think you give it to the kicker yet. The kicking game has been anything but reliable tonight. I think you try to put this thing in the end zone and win on six. I think you put Kevion Cooper on the ground, do a little play action, something. I don't think you kick yet either. So it is now 41-41. Owasso does not score on their second possession, and that's, again, why I'm a, I'm a guy who likes to play percentages. I'd have kicked the field goal right there. But that's just me. So it will be Darius Boone. Darius Boone's going to come out and be the running back. First and goal, Union at the 10. Thompson in the shotgun. He's going to hand to Boone. Darius inside the 10 to around the 9, but not much more than that there. Owasso jumped all over him pretty quickly. It was James on the tackle. And it'll be second and goal from the 9. And Union, I don't think, will do anything dangerous right here. Three receivers, it's Alverson to the right side, Moore and Wilson to the left. When I saw uh, uh, Wayne Jones get up that last time, grab his toe, yep. so the cramps are starting to set in. Second and goal from the nine. Thompson again in the shotgun. Boone now set to his right. There's the snap, it's low, but Darius picks it up and he's gonna push forward to about the eight, not much there. <laughs> Tackled by Palmer, and you know, really, they were sneaking up on the blitz in the outside. He had a gap, he had that but he couldn't over, control the yep. ball. Yeah, he could either uh, Taking the, taking the pass and pulled it and thrown hot to AK, or maybe even try to find a lane in there in that zone route, but he just kind of had to grab it and run. Palmer on the ground that time for Owasso and cramping, and the officials are going to tell him he has to leave, and it'll be third and goal for Union at the eight-yard line. And the other thing you want to do here is you want to run it to the left and get it back center of the field. That's exactly right. I was thinking that before. I was like, which side do you want to be on for your kicker if you do have to kick? Middle. And they're going to bring out Noah Rauschenberg right now. Now, here's the reason this is smart. If it's a bad snap, you just kneel on it, and you still have fourth down. You don't have to kick this ball. The Redskins are confused. They do not, they do not have all their players out there, and they're going to have to call their one timeout. They've had to call a lot of timeouts tonight for, like, Missed formations or maybe just not having the play. Well, let's, let's reset it again. It's 41-41. We're in the second overtime period. Owasso on a fourth and goal from the one, fumbled a snap, and was taken down around the two. Union ran the ball twice, ended up at the nine-yard line, and now it's only third down, and they're going to kick the field goal or attempt it. Again, that's smart because the snaps tonight have not been good, and holes have been occasionally. And Davis has done a fabulous job of holding. He has, really. But snaps have been tough. So if the snap is awful, if something happens, you can fall right back on the ball and you still have fourth down. So well, that's why they have, this they have one in the bank. The last field, last extra point they kicked was really good, blocked well, held well. So I think that's one in the bank to give them some confidence to get this one off. So Noah Rauschenberg will put the tee down at about the 17-yard line. So this will be 27, so certainly well within his range. Davis is the holder. Cade Brown will snap. And this is it. Number one and number two, this game could end right here. Teams are ready. Yep, and a timeout call. The ball is kicked, and it's good, but there was a timeout call by Bill Blankenship just before that snap. So he did the old ice the ice kicker up, thing huh? right before, but you know what? Noah Rauschenberg, and as a kicker, repetition is everything. That's right, he you made just, the first one. You just went through the process, and you hit the thing, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I think if, if, you, if you pause, you may break your motion, but I think Doc Levins, Doc. Hey, uh, Mo Noah and I have had a lot of visits. This actually just ticks in. Even worse. <laughs> well, that doesn't really. Yeah, what matters is you know, keep keeping those motions in control. That's right. And making sure that you, you don't, don't want just kickers try to be emotional. No, 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 no. no. As a matter of fact, Redford Jones from TU will be the guest tomorrow on our pregame show on the TU broadcast. And the first question I ask him is. 
I, you know, people think kickers are kind of odd. He goes, they do? <laughs> I said, Redford, you're the only guy on the planet who doesn't believe that. Yes, they do. When did this start? <laughs> right, right. right. I said, but I don't think you're that. I mean, anyway. All right, so here we go. Once again, it's 41-41, second overtime, and Noah Rauschenberg at the end will attempt a 27-yard field goal to win this thing. Set, snap, kick, up. Got it. Game! Union wins 44-41. The Redskins with a tremendous comeback on a night when things did not always go their way. Noah Rauschenberg field goal, and number one will stay number one. Well, that was so, uh, player of the game. I think that was just an amazing job by the Redskins to fight back from the first quarter till the end. And really, of all the things that went horribly tonight, it was a kick game, and for him to win on the kick is important. Look at this. This is really cool. The, the teams, of course, shake hands, but the coaches, the two coaching staffs went out and lined up like the players and are going through a separate coaching staff. That's pretty cool. Shaking hands. That's class, first class by both teams. Redskins remain number one, a thrilling 44-41 game. We'll be back with the post game next. This is Redskins football on KRMG.